no way they're going set Callista Renekton one two three. That's so f unbelievably fake. Ooh, they did it. Nah, this is an actual speed run. Seeing how fast they can lose. Darwin has a twenty five percent win rate this tournament. What face? Really? Oh, he's hovering Nasus for LS. Why is that for LS, huh? He's tweeting about Trimby playing Nasus. Oh. That's funny. No way Trimby would play Nasus on fucking stage. That'd be oh. ridiculous. That'd just be too crazy. Actually, it would. So, I think this, Rogue just needs one win. This All game right. comp looks so unbelievably Let bad. Let me double check. I wouldn't play this shit on a dare. They have no, they have no late game to be seen. Or early game. Uh, no, I mean, I, I think they have great playmaking early, no? Set? Specifically, Set is like such a crazy... He has such a crazy Twin. fall off. Like early yeah. in the game, he just makes stuff happen. He's usually the first person in the game to have like tier two boots. And then as the game gets like longer and longer, everyone gets like more buttons to outplay him. Wow, they're doing a jersey swap. Very cute. So Kawaii. You're right. That was pre Kawaii. That was so hot. Wait, it, is that support running celebrity? Is that normal? And not only is it important to this is not normally. It was before, but... Oh. The late the invade, let's fucking go. go. They can see the predator. I think Rogue knows this is happening. Alright. Oh, why did he W so early? If he steals the red with that W, it's just GG. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's pretty real. Is it not? Wait, what is this Mauron pathing? Every huh? single game Levi plays Graves and he's like 20 CS ahead of the enemy jungler. But it like doesn't matter. I'm so confused why Graves is er, driving pathing like this. Is he trying to? Is he trying to go into enemy blue here? Because his bot lane I mean, has prior. It, it has to be. There's like nothing else he could be doing. Why does Kati not just bought that better? Oh, shit! Wait, what? He just fucking wow, galleys, but just gets out with fucking ghost. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jarvan doesn't have red. Dude, he's zooming in the foreign. <laughs> this fucking chicken's going Mal crazy. Malrang's like, I got my level two. That's good enough. <laughs> Levi's legit taking only fucking Jarvan's camps. Yeah. But like, Jarvan's taking his camps on the reverse. Oh, uh -oh. Dude, he needs to get this and get out. I like that he used the flag there to get vision. Perfect. I, I feel yeah. like I feel like bot lane should just commit there and get him off the gromp. And the goober really? that they went back on. Still yes. one. I mean, they're like you're never gonna actually do anything to him. He's just gonna jerk you off. Oh, damn! That was, that was a clean dive. Shit! Malrong is such a fucking beast, dude. His pathing makes negative sense to me, but it's somehow still working out. I wonder how much of that is like planned or something he's done before, and how much of it he's just like fucking winging. <laughs> Such a BK Randy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start Wolves and then I'm gonna go to Raptors. I mean, I, I the only thing I can think is like you really cannot allow your bot lane to be a dove on the like stacked wave with set Callista, which is why he'd play like this. Because mm. Graves could just do like red Raptors Krugs and then they crash the bot wave. Yeah, and that would be quite cursed. But I mean, at the same time, though, Jarvan could just do like blue Gromp Wolves and go bot as well. I don't know. He's just too big brain. Uh, I think really when this entire early game settles down, like Jarvan's not even gonna really be that behind. 
Are they really down starting a... dragon like this? He's down a good amount, actually, right here. But this this is this is definitely Galio's advantage. Galio's set. Their champs are so OP at a fight here. And Rogue actually. Yeah. Rogue looks like. I mean, they're gonna let the dragon go, maybe. Yeah, I think they eyeballed that situation. They were like, uh. We are so squishy, and Graves is on serrated Dirk. I'm pretty sure he'll just one-shot us if we get hit by anything. Yeah. Good play by uh, Gam there, honestly, to get that. Early Cloud feels so fucking good as jungler. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, that's true. It's like Relentless Hunter. Holy you have it the whole time. Fucking What's the point shit, of this? that was so aggressive. They're, they're pushing out bot because they want this bot crab, but... This feels... Yeah, this may... I don't know about this one. This feels excessive because you're really you're really not playing in a way that helps any other, anyone else on your team. You're just playing for yourself. Oh, it, it might be again one of those things where it's like you're worried about the dive. Like if you let them build the wave and then Jarvan's <laughs> gonna be there because Graves is like I don't want to have to cover this when the dive happens, so I'm just gonna shove it out now, get them a reset, and then path up. Yeah, that's true, but it just gives the enemy teams so much control. Like if you're gonna push out bot there, like you you have to make it worth it you can't just be recalling afterwards i feel like like you push out bot and then you get the first move towards mid or something and you spill that pressure over because well what, what would you do then if you were gam in that situation bots being pushed in you know jarvin's around he's gonna look for a dive on the crash um are they gonna look for dive i, I don't think so yeah, i mean Callista was like half hp Okay, yeah. I, 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 didn't, I didn't even realize that Clissa was diveable in that set, in that uh, situation. If he's diveable though, you're right. I think it was probably better for him to just blow the wave up. <laughs> Holy fuck, the mid CS is legit brutal. It's crazy. He's Dude, this Kati guy is actually getting completely fisted in most games. Like, pretty rough to watch. Yeah, he's absolutely not on the level of the other mids. Part of it was that massive chunk from Jarvan, though. I don't think yeah, he, I know, but like he, he called after that. He he let that happen to him. Yeah. He saw Jarvan there. It wasn't like he got caught out. Yeah. Just walked into him, took it in the ass. Timer is Bork. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Oh. I think it might... I feel like Gam could die here. completely oom. Okay. It didn't seem very good <laughs> with the Callista. Yeah. Like, what was the point of that all? It wasn't defensive or offensive. It was for fun. I think it was a panic. I feel like it was Dude, looking. What, what is Levi? He's just like, fucking any wave is fair game for me. Like, I'm just going to roll up, take it. Nah, I mean, honestly, when I see Levi play, it, it honestly just makes me sad because he only plays for himself. He doesn't play in a way that is that benefits anyone else. I'm not I, like no exaggeration. Like he'll just only do what's good for him. Oh my god, that's so fucking crazy. Actually owned. Actually so hard. owned. Yeah. I mean, you've seen like the crazy level of shit David General has tried to do for him, though, right? Like not necessarily this game, but like in the past. Yeah, yeah, I saw the funnel, the funnel nocturne where it's yeah. like triple leash on his camps, and he's like level six at four minutes. I, I think I it's like their was... actual play style. Like they legit want him to be crazy fed. Oh my yeah. god! Oh my god! He get it? No. no, no, no. He didn't end up picking it up. But I think they can just re play the fight here. Oh my god, Mara! Oh. He's oh. dead. Oh, this is losing oh. for Rogue. This is good for Gam. Holy. Oh, I feel like Set is just one of those. You just don't fight him at this time. Picks. But, but yeah, that was, I mean, that was a nice play by Set. Jarvan ulted, and then like you, you saw him throw out the flag for the combo, yeah, but he, he got stopped to, by Set yeah. ult. Yeah. yeah. It was definitely good. Definitely good play. But I was just saying my point about it is like, I don't think it's just starting from Levi like, Read, I'm trying to fuck my team over. I think it, I think it's more of the root of like, they all think this is the best way they can win. I think it's their best route well, to victory. Because they, I don't, they know, don't seem like to mind. Chicken or the egg, right? Like you're talking about way back in the day, they did this funnel jungle strat. It's like, I'm guessing he probably had something to do with it as well. So, 
I, I can't really tell you what came first. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, that was so nicely fucking comboed. Wow. Yeah. I mean, what like... What? It's, huh? it's Infernal Map. Oh. It's Infernal Map. Holy shit, they look weird. <laughs> Wait, I think you're I think you're behind, Sneaky, by a decent amount. My mid laner is caddy. It's hard to say I want to play for this guy. <laughs> like that is the reality of some teams. It's like when you're the jungler, right? It's like I, I can agree that like the theoretical best play is playing for the laners, right? But like if you have someone on your team who's literally just getting giga gapped in every matchup all the time, and you cannot rely on them to carry, like what do you do? Do you keep playing yeah. for them and just having them disappoint you repeatedly, or what? Yeah, I mean. Ooh, Levi, you see there. Oh. That was a good stopwatch. Oh. Oh. That, that is true. Like, you're having a dude that's just constantly bleeding out. Like, you do have to adjust to it. Yep. Or you just insta lose based off that alone. It, it, it does look weird seeing Levi do it, but Sneaky could be right. Like, it's just like a. Not his choice. There's just an agreement they came to. Hmm. Oh my god. It's fucking dead. Killed Nar too, though. Does he even wow. kill Jarvan? Oh, uh, he, actually, Levi's playing this fight really well mechanically. He's gonna have a lot of armor. Oh my god, he is. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, Odo oh, Omni played that very well, taunt. too. Does he die? Yeah. He I don't think he has any damage. Oh my god. That's gonna flash <laughs> Jesus. Outplayed, get shit on Odo Omne. Bubble. Dude, this is no, the no. weakest fucking Galio, dude. Actual turd on the rift. Yeah, yeah, he's so so fucking starved. Minus 1k gold. Smooge. Odo Omne is actually a sick fuck on Nar. He hit legit everything. Yeah, yeah, yep. he played that super well. I didn't think that he, Jarvan would die so fast. Oh my god. Oh, oh Q, in. Slap he hit actually e. everything. He, he didn't miss a single thing. Yeah. <laughs> Legit. I mean, that last rock got flashed. I wouldn't count that as a miss. Nope. No, he whiffed. Okay. Dodged everything except for the flash ignite. Dubstep ignite. Uh oh. No flash on Callista. Oh my god. Nah, Odo Omni is too nasty with it. Oh god. And he's gone. Oh and Levi's gone. That is huge for How did Levi just randomly end up getting gunned down in the river? Tsunami just slapped his ass. Well, yeah, I got that part, motherfucker, but like how did he end up in a spot where he just just I don't grapes. Think... He has like three dashes. <laughs> I don't think there's much explaining it. <laughs> she got caught. <laughs> oh, okay. You dumb fuck. What else do you want to know, pussy? Uh, what led to the situation of him getting caught? <clears throat> Maybe that big ass fight bot lane? Perhaps? Yes, it's not a. Uh, let's not fist fight. <laughs> How did Rogue get this group? If C9's in this group, 100% stick though. The fact that Rogue is even, like, close in this game is just sad. Mm -hmm. The Narvin combo. Man, I feel like I haven't seen this combo in a long time, despite it being, like, just a known thing. It's not new. I actually forgot about Narvin until you mentioned it. It, it is a pretty nasty combo, yeah. Instant terrain generation plus Nar. Mm -hmm. A part of what makes it good is Jarvan puts up terrain and then Nar knocks him into it. Oh, wow, I didn't think about that. That's really smart of you. Why does the terrain matter for Nar? 
Uh, he stuns if he pushes them into terrain with his R. Oh, Give yourself the opportunity to maybe find a flank. Sorry, I didn't really understand that. What, what's the synergy? Well, like, say they're not near a wall, right? You can Jarvan ult them, which makes terrain around them, and then it gives Gnar something that you can knock them into. Oh. Oh, but Omne, what are you doing? Why are you just letting them kill you? Oh. Gnar's dead. Why did he just walk into two people like that? Unasked for. So silly. Nobody told him to do that. Gam, giving up dragons. I really think you fight this if you're Gam. Here they go. Yeah. Or better, you just don't give it to him. All in the back of the pit. Everyone flashes out, dashes out. Or wait, no, they're doing a little mini. Oh, wow. That was a little risky. You could have gotten canceled. Well, oh, the old wow. group so up. So beautiful to re-engage right there. Like just to punish the greedy pathing by Callista. Yeah, I don't know. If you're giving up dragons as the early game comp trying to stack them, like, I don't know. How do you win? What do you think about Hurricane stuck on Callista? It's tight. Don't think you should go okay. Gwensu? Yeah, I, I think usually if you want Raise max blade. damage, you, you just need Gensu's. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's pretty hard to kill any one single target with this build. What a random, what a random Graves ulti, honestly. What the fuck? I feel like it would be pretty insane they're if they could have it here. So oh, they're just hard. getting kited. They're just getting kited, and now Azir's on the way. They... Oh, wow. Wait, wait, what the hell? Jarvan actually kills there, okay. Oh, Dude, that was I, I feel like really... these Callista ults are actually like it, it feels so desync. Oh. I feel like the support's wanting it. I think Levi wins these. Gore Drinker. Oh, Dude, he almost he almost survived for a ridiculous amount of time. Yeah, man, I really thought he was gonna kill them all there. Hey, I saw Canyon do it. Full tank graves. Yeah, I think he was like uh, 4k gold up on the next highest in the game though when he did it. Eh. I guess that's B G. Cam tried to force a fight when Azir wasn't there, and then they just got kited. I mean, I think if the fight doesn't start with close salty and in the middle of it you you ult like that, you're probably not getting a kill. I mean, you basically need the really really guaranteed stuff against so much mobility. Like you need to throw set in. I I feel like this their their bot lane is just not ever connected with the start of the fight. I'm gonna watch this again. Yeah. It was really awkward ult. as well. Calista should just ult. You're fucking trolling. Like, like faster than that. And now now he goes in with the ulti and then his team just get is already running away because it's too late. Yeah. No, it was it was actually just hesitation. That is the seed of defeat. Yeah, I mean, the idea of, like, you know, put a ward down, TP on them when they walk past it, go for the engage, like, it's a, it's a fine idea, just they didn't do it right. They didn't actually have the angle to get on them. Or force it hard enough. Yeah. Just ult forehead. Oh! Oh, Jarvan got it! Oh. Dude, oh my god, these Callista ults, man. He's about to do a full grit W and he just gets pulled out. It's over. Has this AD carry played Callista before? No flame, <laughs> just wondering. Oh. Wait, are you dead? Nah. Uh, doesn't matter. This here's actually too fucking oh. insane. Or does it matter? Oh! This here is too insane. Nah, that's so over. They're gonna remain undefeated, all right. Rogue Damn, Rogue. 
4-0. I mean, they're pretty... Is it even possible for them to not make it out of groups going 4-2? I was thinking about that earlier. I think it. I think this game helps, but it doesn't secure it. I guess technically there could be a three-way tie for four-two, right? Yeah, like I think if they lose the next two, and then you yeah, know, top yeah, yeah, wins out. So top esports yeah. three-zero, DRX two-one, and then this the bottom team goes zero and six. Then there's a three-way tie. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, they didn't guarantee it, but it's definitely a really good position to be in. Yep. And we just jinxed them. <laughs> oh, at least they won a game for EU. West, you mean? Almost. For the West. Oh, of course. For this the has West. nothing to do with Europe. This is for the West. Of course. My, my bad. I like it. Yeah. Time to close the game out here for Rogue. I appreciate the creativity. Because it's not, it's not looking good for Gam. It is not, and it's looking worse now. Levi nearly Oh, nice. Wait, oh, actually a nice engage for them. Yeah, they got comp to like use his E. That was pretty huge. Unfortunately, there was no follow up to the slam jam. But, uh, oh, you know, it was a good try, guys. It was a good try. <laughs> he just fucking double E's in and he's like, oh shit. I didn't think I'd get this far. Oh, can Levi live? Le Levi can turn this. Oh, oh, oh no, he choked it. Choked it hard. That was so Dude, close. He's got a little bit more damage there. Finally, LEC wins a goddamn fucking game. Feels good to actually see the West win for once. True. I just realized I had a dream that I remember now about like all three of us teaching some like kindergarten class or like elementary school, but like teaching them league. <laughs> it's really fucking troll, actually. <laughs> I don't know if I would be comfortable letting you two near children. Dude, Dolph was actually cursing. Like, he was spam cursing. <laughs> yeah. I don't Supporting know why. my point. I don't know why. <laughs> can't believe you're do, such a good teacher. Do you teacher. think it's rational if someone does something in your dream to get mad at them in real life for it? <clears throat> of course. What? So, for example, like, say you're dating someone and they cheat on you in the dream. Like, you can take that as if they cheated on you IRL, right? Yeah, they, they basically just did it in an alternate universe. Lena had a dream that I cheated on her, and then she, like, woke up and she was actually upset. But, like, not she, like, knew that she was being irrational, obviously, but she was just, like, upset for a little bit. <laughs> Pretty funny. No, I mean, that, that happens, yeah. You just wake up, like, <sighs> questioning reality for a second, you're like, what the fuck was that? That was pretty fucked up of me to do in the dream. <laughs> If, I mean, if you didn't apologize and make it up to her, like, you're kind of fucked up. I... <laughs> yeah, my bad, guys. Oh my god, Lucian Nami actually super high prior. Wait, we got Karthus? Oh, shit! Now this is a Levi champ. Is, is Callista just one of the biggest traps of the fucking tournament? Did anyone see her her win rate like coming in? It like just run it back again. Callista was so good last game, and they're again doing the whole like Omega greedy jungle pick. Which yeah, I mean it fits her call, it fits her style. Just stick with what you're good at. I think at this point in the tournament, I feel like Callista looks good when the team itself is good. I don't think it saves like a worse team at all. Like I don't think it really gives you the chance to win. In game, destroy this group and ruin top esports. Find out soon. So we'll see if he does go for the bottom side invade, seeing as how the control for the trinket wards of Oh. Oh. Nothing.
Look at this cart, this jangle. Dude. Oh. Fuck Arthas Jungle, but <clears throat> given this situation, I think it's a decent attempt. Mm -hmm. Just pick something that cannot be outplayed. Can you guys think of any champs in the game besides Lushinami that are like bad on their own and but average together? <laughs> I think Renekton Nidalee is like that. For Nidalee. Yeah, Kate Lux kinda. You don't really see much Lux outside of Kate. Rengar Ivern? Oh, shit. Br Yasuo Gragas. That's a good one. Hmm. I'm loving Levi's strategy of farming the entire jungle and then a lane. Maybe a lane or two. It's, it's literally the play on Karthus. A few little minions here and there. Oh yeah, Yasuo Diana as well. That was actually my biggest problem with playing Diana in solo queue is it would just bait my mid laners who've never played Yasuo before to pick Yasuo because you're like, oh, I see Diana. <laughs> I'm gonna help. Oh fuck, I'm zero ten. Oh. Edge. This is one cheese that I see the Asian teams do a lot, where you force someone's flash and then you gank them again before you it even has time to come back up. Dude, I heard that's like European. Oh my god, Tien's getting fucked. I has no escape here. I don't know if he dies. I don't think we have damage. Oh! Wow, they do. Holy fuck, that was close. That was good. Gam. Gam got hit by like every Skittle, bro. Midas was right. They're undodgeable. When the fuck did I say that? <laughs> what? I don't know. I feel like Karthus Q is like... You just have to kind of predict where he's going to throw them. It's kind of... It, they're hard to see. Like, it's a big graphic, but it's like... I don't know. It's weird looking. It's hard to tell exactly where they are. It's. I think they're pretty dodgeable with boots. Without them, it's kind of hard. You can definitely yeah. react. Uh, I would say without boots, then it's pretty much on Karthus to get like a good spot. I just feel like the visibility on that Q is like kind of sus. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like the skin, it's, or... it's very subtle. Like it's this skin looks pretty subtle. It's so fuzzy. Yeah, where it starts and ends that easily, especially if it's dark blue and river. Yeah, like you can tell, but not right away. Like I don't know. It's a fucking hack. Whoa, caddy. Holy shit, bot lane set? Usually it's not ideal when the support and the uh, mid laner are the same level. Hmm. Yeah. How the fuck did Gam get into this group? Oh my god. Like, were they just... They didn't have to go through play-ins, they were just auto-seated in here? Oh. Yeah. Holy shit. <clears throat> funnel Levi, Funnel Levi, yo, Caddy, recall, recall now, stop, get off this wave. <laughs> Solo XP, what are these fuckers doing? <laughs> Holy fuck, he's actually rich. Yeah. Wait, negative gold? Wait, he's got Leandries. Oh, Leandries. Oh my God. That's huge. Now he tempo ults for cash. I, I think it might be worth, I don't know. Yeah, it, it probably is. Yeah. You get like, I don't know, a thousand gold per ult or something. It's a fuck ton.
That sounds wrong. I mean, let's see. I don't Dude, I just want right. to I want to look at the gold total when he presses R and see if it changes. <laughs> Plus like 400. <laughs> I mean, the thing is you have to do it when you're like not in combat because your first strike will go on cooldown otherwise. Dire, and if you're not using your ult for cash, uh, then you better be killing their team. How does future market affect the total gold of a team? Like at the top, does it do anything to it? Uh, do you lose gold? I've never noticed. You could probably check right there what he bought. I mean, you, you technically lose only 75 gold, right? Oh, just, oh. Did whatever, they get gold? Whatever the actual cost of the thing is. I think that would Please take. tell me he had first strike up for that. Here, I'll pull back. Seventeen point six. Doesn't look like it did anything. Ah, I can't get this fucking fly, man. <laughs> it, it'll get tired. That's what I learned. Ties flies tire themselves out quickly. Do they? And then you smash them. I was trying to follow it around, but I lost it. Oh. That guy didn't want to go very deep on that close ulti. For a sec, I thought close ulti bugged, but no, he just, like, didn't go far. Fucking Clara. Messing with my Callista ult. Clara? Oh! Lost champ Clara. That's actually a great question. What is up with Top Esports? Are they actually doing the LPL collapse? Wait, if they lose to Gam, they're like basically eliminated, right? It's pretty high chance, Maybe. yeah. They can, they, can still, they can still pray that DRX loses to Gam, and then they win the head-to-head -to, -head to DRX. Yep. And Rogue. Top Esports is basically in the position of NA right now. Like, it's pretty doomed for them. They have no yeah. hope. Wow. I mean, unironically, though, like, this comp that Gam's playing it is 100% like a Karthus funnel comp. Like, all of your lanes are supportive type champs, and you just need Karthus to 1v9. Oh, he's like not he's getting fed enough, though. Is the problem like he's lower level than Graves? That you, it doesn't work if he's not like highest level in the game. Wait. Oh. Not quite. Nah, now his whole bot side is getting taken. Karthus needs this cash, bro. Alright, looks like a laner's is going to have to get starved here. Karthus needs mid wave. <laughs> like, like, actually, though, they if he he's a turd until 11. Why is Karthus not farming? Fasting Karthus. You wouldn't you wouldn't get it. trying to push his lead as far as they can. They do spot Tian on the bot side of the map, so can go more aggressive. Just get two turrets here. Top esports kind of caught off guard and huge win for Gam. I realized that I have to kind of like stay with the theming on. We've had so many D and I like it. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate the thematic consistency. Yeah, uh, I believe chaotic evil mm. for red dragons. I know they're, I know the chaotic ones are evil, but uh, I don't remember otherwise. I think that's sad. For I think dragons. it's chaotic. Maybe you want to be. Well, what if you want to be a nice dragon? Then you're a metallic dragon. You could be a gold. What about for the boss? Well, we got the boss looking for it right now. Ults away. Gets out from the charm. Oh, caddy with the moves. I guess he was ghosted. Easily able to get behind his minister alive. 
Why did wow, Jackie live ult there? That was pretty troll. First strike value, I bro. I, I think I've started to notice that top esports has like no patience, and that's a huge reason why they lose games. Like, there's so many games where they just go for something, and it's just it's just bad. Like, they just want something to happen. Maybe they feel like oh, we're so much better, like, we sh you have this expectation that, like, plays should happen because you're just so much better, and then you just end up, like, overforcing and doing something dumb. Like, half the time that they... Basically, like, most of the time I see top esports bad position, it's, like, they put themselves in that position, and as a spectator, you're like, well, what did you expect? Like, you're just <laughs> what did like you expect, mess. spectator? Nah. Nah. Top throw sports. Yeah, exactly, like, actually. Like, they're winning their lanes, and then they just go for something that will never work against this, a, a decent player. Um, Dude, it's time for a level 11 Karthus Tempo ulti. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Oh, I'm sick of it. Just, just push send the, the goddamn ultimate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hey, what's up? The one thing that I'm streaming. Oh, really? Oh, hey, you're uh, streaming. I am doing actually. <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually streaming live on Twitch myself. Check me out. Who was it? Who's your boyfriend? Mm, I don't know if you ever met him. His name is Otto. He's like a uh, guy who worked on Blitz for a long time. Mm, yeah, I'm not familiar. Oh! How many Skittles? How many pieces of candy? All of the Skittles. All of the Skittles. Whoa. Whoa. Oh! We were in... Fuck. Ooh, okay, let's fucking go! Garthus has our... Oh, shit. He's pissing me off by not income ulting. Like, why? <laughs> why is he, like, ulting to try to get kills instead of just doing it for money and No, cash? I mean... I, I think that's oh. probably the better way to play Karthus, uh -oh. but if you have first strike, uh -oh. at least uh -oh. use first strike. <laughs> like, you just run Dark Harvest or some shit if you're trying to use her all like this. I've seen Karthuses who literally, it, it their gameplay feels troll. Like, they're just spamming R on cooldown for money, and they just get so much money. End of game, they'll have, like, 10k on first strike or something. Yeah, I think I think it comes down to how well you're real the number? Of the game. Because like, if you do that and then your team gets into a fight where your ult is down because you used it for money, then it's like, then you get that. Yeah, but but fuck them. You have first strike. <clears throat> yeah, play to win. Ten k is a real number here. Okay. Play to win. Ten k is a real number. Yeah, good point. Definitely, you're getting ten k off of your first strike. <laughs> I mean, if I exaggerate, it makes my point look better. So like, that's true. What? Uh, Why would I not exaggerate it if I'm trying to prove a point? He's right. I have not seen Callista ult uh, a support like in a good way from Gam. Every time he presses R, it's horrible. <laughs> True. Why do they keep putting him on Callista, dude? They're like, all right, we need something strong in lane so you just don't get fucking lane, probably. Yeah. Oh, wait, they actually one-shot Knight here. Oh! This is insane, they actually can win now. Dude, all I'm saying is Knight got absolutely murdered by RJS, so like... Maybe he doesn't know the... The details he needs to execute on in the laning phase. The details. Forehead. Details. Yeah, you don't know about the details, Sneaky? Oh, what are the details? Let's hear them. Oh, I mean, it's a literal, if you have to ask and you don't know. Oh. Oh. Who's even like dead weight on top esports? <laughs> Do they have someone inting them, or are they just not playing well as a collective? I don't know. I feel like it's team wide. But yeah. I Normally, if, like, one dude's running it, like, the team play makes up for it, but they don't really have the team play to make up for it. Dude, maybe... Didn't they lose in finals or some shit? Because Jackie Love entered? Yeah. Maybe that, like, shattered their team's trust in one another and Jackie Love. They just haven't been able to recover from it. <laughs> 
I feel like for top esports and a lot of the teams that are supposed to be really good, their problems is like not obvious. It's not the same thing as watching an NA team be like, oh, they just got fucked in lane. Like they just can't keep up. Nothing they do will work because their laning skill is too low. Or if you like a Fnatic, it's like, it's not that they got fucked in lane. It's like a couple of their players just like can't play that many champs and they like Hillisong is just running it. Hillisong kind of ran it. Yeah. For, for top, like, I, I don't know. It doesn't seem, like, very simple. It, it's actually weird, because I feel like on Fnatic, oh. all of their laners oh. kind of overperformed. Like, Humanoid oh Upset Wonder. God. I don't know. Those guys are really, really skilled, though. I didn't really think they overperformed. I mean, compared to, like, the expectation for a Western team, they were doing, like, really well against Asian teams. Yeah. But I feel like Hillisang, especially in... I don't know, Razork at times were kind of making yeah. it hard. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> wow, Knight. Really nice late flash there. That was like, he, he flashed in a way where it baited Levi to flash on him there. Mm. Intentional? I think so. Really, or, you, th he you think he's thinking like, I'm going to flash the last possible yes. second to yeah, try to... I actually think so. Hmm. I mean, he is... Could be smart. Could be smart. Fucking insane mechanically, but... I mean, okay. Yeah. Or he just had a, a one instance of slow reaction that worked out. I mean, that's possible too. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit. <laughs> if this was an NA player, he would... Definitely not be the good one. <laughs> Knight's pretty poggers. Yeah, when he's on, he's fucking... Wow, Renekton did shit. actually nothing in this fight. Yeah. I respect that. Starting to think Renekton's not like an engaged champ. Yeah. <laughs> what would lead you to believe that? What's a sequence by night where he does last second flash and uh, Levi thinks that he's going to connect with it. It's like flash E. Then. Oh. Oh. Money. I mean, this is. This is Lucian Nami's counter, maybe. No? Karthus? They're just so squishy. I don't know if I oh, got wow, this is just but... one off soul broken. Oh, 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 oh. Karthus is actually just OP as fuck. Wayward's fucking dead, but it's taking a while. Okay. That's a yet another horrific ulti. Oh. oh. Wow, Jackie Love is out. Oh. Jackie Love is insane. Sometimes. Can they even chase this? Seems hard. Knight needs. Yo, Gom should run. I don't know why they're sticking around, like, fucking staring at them from the enemy side of the map. They need to get in a better position. Uh oh. Oh, he's, he actually lives that. Oh my god. Renata! Uh, Oh, he stab Karthus. All right, he just needs death cap and Zonias, and uh, it's it's legit not playable for top esports anymore. Wait, yeah. this is actually fed as hell. What the fuck? Yeah. I've only been paying attention to Karthus. <laughs> Excuse me. It really feels like Lucian Nami, if they're not, if they're at half HP at the start of the fight, which Karthus just makes happen, then it's just useless. Could Nami build Locket <laughs> against see, Karthus, do you think? Or just solo I to Nami. Like it would help more than the Imperial Mandate has. Because is so lucky for living this. Like, he gets rooted, and then last second, he like that's Kadi's fault that he didn't hit that. I mean, I, it is possible Jackie Love just waited for the absolute last second to flash, so Kadi would waste his... Yeah. Oh. 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 
Damn, well, why is Gom just fighting without Garthus, by the way? I don't know, but the game is looking just kind of smirking lost. this game. I don't think Top Esports can win against Orn. I'm starting to realize that as long as Orn is just an unkillable champ for the enemy comp, he's OP as hell. Oh, well, uh, lucky for Orn, he happens to be unkillable every game, so. No, dude. Did you see the... I think it was Impact playing Orn, and he was down like 40 CS, and he was just squishy as fuck. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if, if you're getting absolutely blasted in the ass. But I don't know, like, after 13 or whatever, when you start getting the... When you start upgrading items is when he starts getting ridiculous. Yeah. Every oh, dude, level he... from, like, 13 to 17, he gets, like, 10 times stronger than any other champion does leveling up there. It's so wild. Lucian did the thing. He did a uh, Surreal Disturb. Yeah. Yeah. If they lose, fan. we know why. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Especially this game. So many tanks on enemy team. Don't go IE. Oh, what the hell? That's such a crazy whiff by him. Okay, he doesn't do damage. Never mind. 49 crit? Did I read that right? <laughs> uh, I didn't even see the numbers. I th I just saw 49. 49. There's no way. Crits. It's 49 crits. What? Oh. Huh? How is that even possible to be doing 49 damage with an auto attack? I guess two mountains plus Orin's crazy, like, scaling on armor Did, did he, like, have a shield or something? I, it must be, like, part of Renata's shield, right? Like, there's no way that's a real number. <laughs> no, no, it's real. It's real. I think so. 49 crits, so like it to be like the second shot. Real autos shot. are doing 24 damage. If it's the second shot critting, makes oh, sense. Maybe, that makes yeah, sense. Dude, that makes sense. Wait, what? He Poppy not. Sports is actually gonna lose. Wait, this is weird as fuck. They use uh, the Karth Assault. Just oh wait on the next Karth Assault. Wait, why are they even fucking with Baron when their Soul is coming up in 30 dude, seconds? What was Renata's ult, by the way? Like, he ulted the Baron pit by itself? Nobody in it? Yeah, yeah, it was weird. It's like he, he expected the enemy team to stay on Baron. Look at look at uh, Ari, no ulti for Soul. Like, this is so huge. Karth is not having ults kind of big. He, if he waits, though, and gets 16, like, you literally can't lose the game. What is happening? I think the just... I think the only way Gam oh 118 like, crit shit himself. Skittles. I think G Gam just needs to chill. Yeah, they need to relax. Katie's on a really good flank here. He's getting, he's buying so much space. I don't see yeah. how they can stop this drag. It's just gonna end up being a 50 50. I mean, just literally wait till Karth assaults up. I don't know why they're like rushing this play so hard. Holy face check. Are you fucking serious? They just face checked that bush and Katie could have totally been there unless they have a perfect timer about where he is. Oh my god. Okay. I don't like Toby Sports position. This is freaky for I think, top. I think Gam's position better. This is freaky for Gam. Freaky, bruh. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, big oh, engage from Caddy. Oh, 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 soul. Soul? Yes, card the soul. Ah, uh, they're all dead. They're all dead. They're all dead. But how many? Oh, is he 16? Oh, no, he's only 15. He's only 15. Oh, oh, if he was 16, that was a fucking triple. Sure. Dude, I actually fucking. Gam has like the ultimate fucking, ch like, cheese comp. Like, how do you outplay this shit? <laughs> Holy fuck. I hesitate to call it a good comp, but like, it, this seems like the shit you want to be playing if you're up against a stronger opponent. <laughs> yeah, the Karthus. Yeah, I mean, just Karthus with these champs. Like, champs who are totally, like, they're strong in lane, but also useful even if they get fucked. Mm -hmm. Dude, like, not super item reliant. Wayward needs to like fucking fix his champ pool or some shit. Like, is your is really the best thing you can play against Orn and Renekton? True. No shot, dude. He's actually gonna be so fucking big soon, Karthus. Yeah. He just hit 16. He is so close to death cap. Oh, yep. God. 
I think in a few oh, songs before it. Desperate Baron oh. flip. They're doing a desperate Baron flip against Ord. Against Ord, you're doing this. I, it looks you're like you're gonna get trolling. it. it looks like you're gonna get it. They're actually dead. Ord just ult this, dude. Oh! They get wait, it, they get it, they get it, they get it. Wait, what? Yeah. Hello? Pause champ? Why did he ult that guy? <laughs> wow. Nice one, Gam. What the hell? That was a free kill on Nami, man. Hmm. It's actually hilarious, dude. It's like, I feel like Gam is overall playing worse, but like, it's their. It's comp. Yeah. The risk reward of their plays is just so in their favor. It really is. Boom. Like, they can make more mistakes, but they get bigger punishes when the shit goes well. Yeah. Can you not love that? How can you not love that, Kobe? Look at that. Yo, stick, thank you. Damage team fight. I mean, sometimes Karthus is the most fucking broken shit in the game. I think it's so funny that Set can just get fisted like this and Oh, he's got it. He's got the decap. Yeah, yeah he's about to base through it, right? Oh, no, he got canceled. Come on, man. Get the death cap. Oh god, he's oh. ulting without it. He has to move to this fight. Okay. Uh, wait, kind Knight of... took zero damage from the Karthus ult. He must have a Banshee. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, he actually built Banshee just for Karthus? This little cheese lord. Pussy! So, by by Gam winning this game, it does it lock... It, it, it locks, locks Rogan. Rogan. Yeah. yeah, it locks Rogan. To, uh, getting out of groups, but it doesn't wow. eliminate. Let top fucking yet. go the West. Yeah, technically there could be a two to two four three way tie, but like that would assume that DRX would actually lose every game today. Yeah. Go zero and three. That is pretty unlikely. Oh, I mean they haven't won a game yet. True? Question mark. I mean today they haven't won a game. Okay. True. They are currently zero wins on the day. Dude, Graves has so much farm. More than his soul inners. Weirdly, I feel like Jackie Love should have just went for the no rapid fire build. Like, if. I think it's made up for the Mount Doesn't matter. It's pretty if he just had no attack speed items at all, I think it would have been better than what he's doing now. Where he has like no IE instead. He has to replace the Sereldas. So she says he's going Maw. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have to. He could just go IE instead of Serrated Dirk. Yeah, but. That's a weird game. Yeah. It, it'd be like replace it after fucking everything's already built. Is this gonna be our first honorable elder flip of worlds? That why is the fuck? Do you guys see Seth's movement? He's like gliding. He just eat nothing. They just need a one shot Nami here. Why is she not flash that? It's just over. Oh. It's over. It, it, oh. Mark insta dies. Wow. And they Lucian's can't useless without Nami. Oh my god. Oh my god. They actually can't kill anybody. Oh my god. Get, Lucian cannot kill this guy. The worthless, the worthless mid laner who's getting shit on the whole game. Oh. I don't know if they end. How does Orange just no, die like end. that? That's so troll. I feel like he could have got away or gotten oh. help, and just neither of those happened. He just fucking died. Uh, uh, okay, Renekton's probably dead, but they get Elder here. Uh, Graves is still up. Graves seals yeah. these. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess he could. He could if he doesn't, he he's walking back to China. Holy shit, yeah, he, he will walk. He will actually lose social credit if he doesn't seal this. <laughs> Hey, good luck stealing against Karthus, Callista. Impossible. Yes, 
to go for Tien. They've got him on top of it. Stout is going for the kill, but he has the damage. Well, it's just so broken. How would she just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ray? They go to Elder! Wait. Dude, Jackie Love, Jackie Love, extra social credit, social credit, Jackie Love. Wait, I looked away for one sec. What the fuck? Yeah, GG, GG. What? They, they win. They actually win. It's over. It's actually over. They actually win. Oh, Jackie my Love is so fucking clutch. God, Dude, it, just, it felt like it had to happen, man. It had to happen. Dude, Gam would just do Rogue some stupid must be shit. Molding. Rogue must be molding out of their minds right now. What? Gam loses this. 20 seconds plus Elder. Holy fuck. I would actually be so pissed. But like, how does he get outsmited by Illusion? I don't know. Like, He's so it, fucking it's tanky. It's so crazy that they could lose that Elder Flip. It's so advantage for them. I need to fucking lose. see that again. I'm going back. This game's over. Wait, maybe not. I'm watching. Oh my god. Wait, that what? Did wait, wait, what? Whoa. <laughs> oh. Wait. Oh. 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 No oh god. No way. Wait a fucking second. No way. What is this game, bro? Oh my god. This is right out of solo queue, man. Oh my god. This is no directly way. out of solo queue. Is, is this a counter end? counter end. Just run it. Is it? I don't know. Just try. Just try. No, just try. It, 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 it's it probably not, but like just try. No, there's no way. No, like they, they could they could I take the fight at any feel like Nexus here. they get in him and Nexus turret. I, I think you just... Fight, right? I would but honestly I just go Baron fight. here. I think you should take. I think you should just take the fight enemy nexus because open nexus for you is so disadvantaged. I don't I know. Think you have to they, take a home run right now. I don't think they can. I think they, you go Baron. Time. Oh god! Oh, go for they it. are try. doing the double lift play. Just try. Let's like, see how this one goes. What, what is the worst that can happen? You lose with a one HP nexus. <laughs> Fucking try. <laughs> Fucking try. That's usually the worst thing that can happen it's in the game. Yeah, you lose. Oh it's my over. god! I oh my it just god! Just <laughs> They actually oh, won. Hey. Shit, it worked. The fucking mad lads. Holy shit. That was one of the coolest games I've ever seen, no joke. Like, it was actually entertaining as fuck. Uh-oh. And legit KDA played this. Yo, the uh, odds on that bad uh, for my channel? 4-1, to one, by the way. Like, almost 4 to It's like 3-1. to one. Let me see my. Gotta pay out. Wow. Holy fuck. Je dude. Top esports eliminated in groups. Not eliminated yet. Yeah, but pretty much. You don't recover from that. I'm calling it now. They're done. No, dude. Mentally, they're done for. Recover from that. I'll be your beat. Holy fucking balls. Minus one million top esports being chilly. Wow, that's fucked up. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. That was such a fucking cracked game. Holy yeah. shit. It's so fun to watch. So Tian walks up. He just starts battling. He dies to Callista. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Lucian just walks up and gets it. They kill all of them. Okay, I'm gonna watch the attempt to end now. Dude, wait, this looks way more over. I feel like... Oh my god, Kiaya actually smurfed this. He stalled so much time. Dude, Jackie Love just gets fucked in the butt. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, wait, at the end of the game, they're down 9k gold. Or 8k, whatever. It's fucking all over the place. 
like when the enemy's on their nexus. Clara? Fucking Clara. Dude, I'm looking at the end, like attempt for t top. They actually get f fucked by Orn. Yeah. They played this about as well as they could, top. The whole game? Yeah, I agree. They played really well. <clears throat> no, I mean the literal end attempt. Like, I don't... I don't think there's really anything to change here. They just get fucked. Actually, so giga. That's got to be the biggest upset of the whole tournament. Yeah, I can't think of another one. Pretty fashionable hey, hey, way. What about Fanatics 80 carry? <laughs> Why? Well, I, I don't... <laughs> I, Got him. <laughs> I just don't know if I'd describe him as the biggest upset. <laughs> That's such a good one, Sneaky. <laughs> okay. I'm happy for them, though. That's actually... That's gotta feel great. They're playing fucking spoiler. Yep. Alyssa is just winning every game that she doesn't lose. Wait. Powerful. Wow. Okay, actually, I like Alyssa Zero a lot. It's a good time. I Wait, mean, you what? just I, I think you just need some carry that's not Callista. I think if Callista is your biggest carry, you're going to have problems. Yeah. She just can't get it done unless she, like, Omega Snowball's lane. Heimer, Ash? Heimer support. It's Heimer support. Barrel plays this. Is that a real bot lane? <laughs> yeah, it's uh. actually insane. In Wait, I thought you could only play Heimer with uh, Kaisa. Yeah, that was troll as fuck. No, Heimer Ash is actually insane in lane. I played it with Boostia. Uh huh. Who takes the gold? I guess Malrung's just it's able Heimer to get Jarvan. Support. Everything. And Ash takes the gold. Rumble. Interesting. Wait. Rumble Jarvan, dude. They're bringing back all the combos. Is it Rumble support? This casters mentioned it. Oh. Well, I guess it's a flex. They're actually hell not sure why you it. need a flex when they're showing their top and bot lane already, but okay. Holy fuck, the vibe. The vibes. All right, I like Rogue's comp way better. It doesn't have a Vi or Heimerdinger in it. Oh my god! Holy fuck, they actually are going Nasus support. This is the battle of the trolls. Yo, it's fix. because they want DRX to win this. What the so there's less hell? chance of a tiebreaker. Is Nasus support any remote like remotely decent against any of these champs i'm i'm actually confused doesn't make any sense yeah i uh like you you would do it against Callista, right you wouldn't do it with Callista against ash i don't really see how that's good a vi player i was playing with said they couldn't do anything when they got withered recently they got like totally mind controlled and couldn't press any of their buttons when they got withered legit yeah it was so crazy i think it's a counter such a counter. Damn. It's actually pretty annoying, NASA support. I don't think it's good, but it's annoying. I don't think that uh, Rogue can breathe any second of this lane 2v2, but if I'm, or if they get one gank off with Jarvan, then the lane just completely swings. Why is Def not W? Or not using W right now? He only... He will only use W if he can chase him down with Halo Blades autos after. Maybe that's why. Oh, he wants to use it to deny farm. Well, I guess it's not worth it for him to use W if Trimby's just going to block it. I want to see Maul rank gank something. 
that chest I while running gank. gank. I really do think it's so fun to watch somebody who plays like this. Because, like, this kind of jungling is... It's been kind of happening less and less, where the assumption is that the laners on the enemy team are going to waste your time, and people have just gotten smarter overall at, like, not dying to ganks, and it's been more about, like, setting up dives, zoning people off of farm with pressure. The fact that this guy actually commits himself and, like, doesn't give a fuck about how far behind he falls is kind of cool. Double lift getting Mullerung on the phone right now. I know. Actually, so it's a hot. To play with someone like him, no? Is it? Yeah, I like yeah. my jungler getting gapped every game. Oh, I mean, yeah. Mullerung is getting totally gapped every game, guys. True. We were talking about it, how it works really well with this team because lanes are playing really well. Do you put this jungle style in a team that it's getting dumpstered in lane, it just falls apart. It's interesting he didn't attempt to gank bottom. Yeah. I oh. think he knows that they're getting covered, and now it's it's Geosix covering on this to gank timing, so they can't do anything. He doesn't know, though. Oh, now he does. Yeah, uh, I, I, I kind of assumed this would happen. You cannot breathe any second of the lane against Heimer Ash. Mm. It's just fucked. They're just throwing shit at you. Yeah. It's a it's a D shield second wind angle. The main thing is that you cannot actually win the all in oh. against Timer. Wow, that looked sus as fuck. Like he might have died. Maybe you should have based a while ago in my opinion, but wouldn't you normally want TP against a lane like this? Or do you just need cleanse for the arrow? I think you need the cleanse, yeah. And you're just okay to fall down 10 or 20 CS in lane. Hmm. Like, the, the the saving grace here is that he has a decent buy. I don't think tier 2 boots helps too much against this lane. Maybe Vamp Scepter better, but depends how much he can dodge because of the boots. On Callista, you jump farther when you get boots. Uh, oh. Oh. Nah, oh. Probably not everyone knew that, even if you did sneaky. Oh, boots jump. I think the problem with playing Ash Heimer is that later in the game, you're stuck with playing Ash, which is exactly what happened to me in Champs Q. It was really, really good in lane, and then it got to a point where I'm playing Ash, and then my team is playing real Champs, and now it um, doesn't matter how fed or how I play, it's just impossible to do damage. I guess when you play the Callista matchup specifically, though, it's not nearly as bad since she falls off a cliff as well. So you do have a job. They're both kind of turrets later. Oh! Oh, he ults. Fucking clear the wave. Odo doesn't get anything epic. done with this roam. Back with food. What'd you make? Mm, some enchiladas, rice and beans. Ooh. Can I have some? Sure. Fuck it. What? Wait. What the fuck? What? You saw that vibe? Oh, flash? God. Piosik. You saw that? Yeah. What the fuck? He actually, for fun, the flash. He didn't even fucking hit his Q. The or need hell? the flash. Yike, dude. Piosik is like... Looks so crazy. I don't know. piosik has been one of the junglers who's like... Stuck out to me is kind of... I'm not playing so hot. Kind of underperforming. Zekka's just getting scooped into turret on cooldown. And another jungler, right? Garex? Yeah, Juhan. Yo, watch this Vi-Q. That was really cringe. He goes for the Q flash, Why? and he it's just like misses he, it. It's like he misclicked. <laughs> like, he didn't even want to flash. No, he, he wanted he... to flash. He just didn't have his mouse in the right spot. Yeah. I feel like if he doesn't flash, it probably hits. But he flashed and missed. Yeah. 
Larson wasn't Wait. connected to the fight to the fight there. It was just a 3v2 basically. Whoa! Arrow whiff? <laughs> Surprise Teemo. Eh? So, he did the surprise Teemo emoji. Oh. Is the combo you Ash Arrow and then Heimerdus is empowered W and just one shots or what? Yeah, level 6 you can do a bunch of stuff. Like, if Ash W makes skill shots easier to land for Heimer, but then also if like Heimer hits anything, then Ash can follow pretty easily. They definitely just play off each other really well. Adept is dead oh. here a million percent over. That's why playing this kind of shit. Oh, wait, wait, Heimer? They're wait, just Heimer? shitting on him. Oh, no, they, they ran too far from his big turret. Oh! Yeah, his big turret just fades. Oh. Was his big turret hitting that whole time? It looked like it was yeah, kind of far, but maybe it was in range. Oh! Do it. No balls. It no like balls! Do it. Yeah, that would be so deep. And look at the top side. They're getting a push back for Odo Omni, so there is a price to King and coming down. So now we see the lane swap. I want to see the hybrid damage here. So he puts down the big turret. Oh, it's doing so much damage. Oh my what god. Yeah, the big turret owns. Oh, holy fuck. Died his ass. <laughs> holy shit, get fucked, Eft. <laughs> so unnecessary, but. Also awesome. Oh. How come when C9 played Heimer support, it didn't look like this? Bowering kind of dying his dick off. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. You see, it's just play style. It's getting his team ahead. Hmm. Oh, of course. This game from ahead, the map My bad. Is gonna allow them to have these devastating Heimer turret brush set up all over. And since he has gotten the damage, uh, burst here, if you walk in, you get comboed. Grenade on top of your head, all the turrets. Wow. The fuck, no flash. His oh, my butthole. God. <laughs> what a crazy way to die. And that's with the clans also being used. Barrel Heimer support kind of popping off. <laughs> as you pointed out, also. Uh, walking into a Nero brush where there could be a Heimer waiting, and the issue now for Rogue is that even though they're yeah, honestly, I don't know if NASA's E shredding resistances is relevant in any way this game because there's not much resistances on the enemy team to begin with. I mean, maybe you could make an argument that Aatrox is going to have a lot of armor, but the only physical damage dealer is Callista, so as far as like damage amp goes, it's not even like NASA's is like good for that. Yeah, I feel like he did it. It's like a fan service pick. Yeah, well, they're they're locked anyways. So I mean, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit it's like one of those things where I, I feel like when because they're locked, they can be more experimental with picks, and the payoff is huge because like they get a feeling for how that pick works on stage, and if they win with it, then other teams are scared of playing against it the next time that they you know face off and play off. Yeah. It's like, oh shit, like, I don't know, like, they're they're pretty comfortable playing NASA support, like, no one else is playing it, maybe we should ban it or, like, think about it in draft. Yeah. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. I also how does uh How does the NASA shred work with Jarvan shred? Like, do they both stack? Probably, if I had to guess. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Multiple percentages. Separate debuffs. I mean, it's it's separate armor pin. Like slows don't stack. It just takes the higher one. I wasn't sure if it was the same way with the armor pin. Yeah, I, I feel like Heimer is actually not a troll pick. They have double AP solo lanes. A lot of the gold is getting funneled into AP damage. So I think the reason why they pick NASA support is it's just a way for them to try this pick out in a matchup that is like super abnormal. Yeah, now we know how the uh, Callista Nasus versus Ashheimer goes. Well, you would never, like, play this shit if the enemy botlane is playing, like, fucking Tristana Rel, or, like, if the enemy botlane is playing anything normal. Relios Renata. Mm -hmm. You can, because it's such a weird botlane. 
love Steph. He's a great player. My favorite 80 carries of all time. If Nas can get Leandries, I'm, I'm, you know, I think. Dude, I just saw strong. the item difference between junglers. This is actually what happens when you play like Malrong and your bot lane isn't winning. He's actually da he's not finished a single item and fucking PSX on two core. Yeah. I mean, this is the reason why a lot of people don't like playing this way. Because, like, if it doesn't work out, like, if your team's just not playing well, like, you actually look like the biggest turd. Yeah, for sure. I think it takes a lot of mental, because, like, you have to be comfortable in this position. I think a lot of people are only comfortable when they're ahead. You have to learn how to be comfortable from, like, every position in the game. From really ahead, and honestly, from really behind. It's super important. Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, like... For for new, like say you're a new player trying to get into the scene, like even if you understand the play style and like, you know, I could I could see this being the best way to play, but it's just like every time you lose, like you're gonna look like such a dumbass. You need like a lot of trust in your team that they're gonna yeah. understand what you're doing. Well, they'll be like, oh, yeah. dude, like shouldn't we just pick up this fucking Graves player? Like look at his stats. It's just like, all right, good talk. Yeah. I never, I don't know, I, I feel like it should be completely obvious to like every pro player these, at this point. It's fucking 11 years of, or like 12 years of like League Esports, right? Like listening to the community and caring about like the stats or like how it looks to an outsider's perspective is just useless. It's so counterproductive. Yeah, I mean, um... 100 Thieves likes doing that. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah, I mean... I mean, I, I don't know. As a, as a player, like... I guess you have to, like, somehow sometimes play the metagame as a player, but... I stopped giving a shit what the community thought, like, literally 10 years ago. Yeah, I mean, as a player, you shouldn't care. It just sucks when, like, the people in charge of whether you have a job or not are, care, so then it's like you kind of have to care. Yeah. Because it does affect you directly. I actually think this game's looking really good for DRX. Third Dragon. Giga Pressure. I mean, what does Rogue even have to come back? Like, they, they have very little hard lockdown. They have, like, a lot of kind of CC things, like Wither, Zero, Cataclysm, but at worst, DRX will just flash out if they're ever in trouble. Oh? He's fucking demolished. Rumble doesn't seem like a good pick in Aatrox. Actually, I, I think I'm just overall sick of people trying to play anything against Aatrox. <laughs> what should they pick? Just, nothing? Ban his just ass. first pick it or ban it. This is like the 20th pick that I've seen. Fucking zillion guarantee mode, rumble, fucking Aurelia. Like, I, I'm sick of seeing everyone's crazy uh, counter pick to Aatrox. That's quite the intro to that. Zillion Teemo. <laughs> hmm. that, that literally happened. Yeah, but those weren't like real teams picking this. Okay. It was the yes. same team picking both. Yeah. Yesterday, Aurelia was picked. Fucking two days ago, Fudge was trying to play Fiora into it. Uh, like last week, Jax is being picked into it. Like literally, nothing looks. Okay, good. but how much of that is team gap? Like those players are just better in the Aatrox I side. I think the better players know that Aatrox is really broken because they are playing the champ to its limits, and the better teams typically pick Aatrox, while the weaker players in lane at least, are like trying to find a way to like not get shit on by it so they go for a crazy pick. No, I mean, I, I agree. I think Aatrox is really strong. I just, I don't think it's necessarily like everybody's trying to counter it and they need to stop. I think it's like, I think it's whatever. I mean, like Rumble obviously looks bad. I, I don't know. I like, I've seen so many top metas where it comes to this, where there's a top pick that is just really skill dependent, but it's like overall the best. But then, like for example, G2 plays like uh, G2 plays Darius, right? Oh my yeah. God, he just dies like that. Yes, sir. 
I think the greatest part about Aatrox is that he's so flexible in draft, but the counters to him don't seem to be don't seem to have the same like tree. Like Aatrox works with a dive comp and a front to back comp. You can play AD and AP junglers with him. There's not actually very many AP junglers anyways. Like haven't really seen anyone doing super good on them. There's like one Italy game, so Arthas. Yeah. I mean it just comes down to like what what do you give them first pick then if you ban Aatrox? Yeah, that's true. Something gets first picked, but he's oh a bit of a problem. I, I think people are just going with the impression of like Aatrox is beatable. Like exactly. I agree, he's, he's probably the strongest top. Really good pick. He just doesn't feel as like unfair as other things. Yeah. He can lose lane like he is susceptible leaving snowballed on. It just hasn't been happening. Oh, wait. Def gets flash withered? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Look at Nasus go! Holy shit! That shit's powerful. That was boggers, man. People are sleeping on this pick. <laughs> this game Dude, actually just was over the second Aatrox built Maw. Yeah. The second the Nasus was locked in, I think this game actually ended. That as well. Honestly, if I was a Rogue fan, I would just think of this game as like, I would be happy to learn this lesson now, right? Like, I think th this game literally doesn't matter for them. They're advancing no matter what. I guess you can make an argument that like seeding might make a huge difference, but it, it yeah. really doesn't. Like, it's just completely up to a flip a lot of the time what the better seed is. Um, if I was Rogue, I would, like, obviously it, it you don't, want to lose but it's like okay like let's cross nasus support off the list and i think rumble is probably not good against atrox better to learn it now than it'd be a five wait so by by losing that game does gam gam cannot make it out but uh top esports can oh top esports is out it's over now okay T top esports still can tie i see with who drx yeah i think so it sucks when it's not in their hands, though. They're basically going to be watching DRX play Gam and then fucking be just be praying to God. They're actually going to do it. They're actually going to do it again. No fucking shot. Oh my God! Heimer Ash, Ash again. Heimer again. A motherfucking gin. Why Viego instead of V this game? Actual Syndra support counter to Heimer. <laughs> I don't mind it. Wait a minute. It's actually good. I mean, in theory, yeah, but like, that does is, he actually fucking play Syndra? That is funny, man. You sure would only, not. dude, you would only play this if you were actually a one, like a Syndra one trick before playing. Yeah, pro. like uh, I, I think your average support player trying to play Syndra is not gonna look pretty. No, but like, give him the benefit of the doubt. Actually, though, this guy probably was a fucking Syndra player. I, like, you would never play this at Worlds unless you were super confident. I mean... Or you're uh, just like... They're legit eliminated. You fucking went on, like, Wallitics and you looked up Heimerdinger counters and you saw Syndra and you're like, yeah, I can do that. I mean, the, the stakes beer. are not high here at all. Like, this is actually the opposite. This is not like an elimination game for them. They don't care. I think Syndra gets Omega fisted by Heimer. Hot take. How? He just, he just does. Misses all of his balls, takes it in the ass. He got me. He just does. Yep. Oh my god. Is that an actual picture that happened? Deft with a fucking llama? All right. Holy shit. Cinder support. The counter. I have an idea. Hear me out. What if... Stupid. <laughs> what if you... Either couldn't smite like big ass objectives, or like it just didn't exist in that form. So like, it's not like it, like you change the game in some way where like junglers don't take smite essentially, but like they can still jungle and then they, they can still secure camps and shit. So like the the How smite would look like you, you know there's smite fights around objectives like it's no longer a smite fight it's like a secure fight like who who actually secures the objective it's a team does it work i don't know the details but what so like is the man idea just getting rid of smite fights 
Yeah. Oh. I don't think Riot would ever do it. Like, as a jungler, I'd probably be happier if they didn't have smite fights, but, like, as a viewer, it's a pretty hype part of the game. I think it'd be way more hype Whoa! without it, though. Because, like, stealing becomes so much more, like, team-oriented rather than... Like, like, it becomes easier as well, you know? There's no massive true damage hit. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know, people get so hyped for, like, jungler versus jungler smite on objectives. Yeah, but it's only because it exists. It would be just the same, I, I mean, think, I, or better. I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't be opposed to it, but... Nah, I think jungler I don't think it's is likely just always going to be a part of the game. It's, an, it's like literally an iconic part of League that should stay. Well, I don't, I don't necessarily think it has to be. Like, the only reason it exists is so that the jungler can jungle. Yeah. I mean, that's one thing I would change with jungle is like, I, I don't like how junglers can just like PvE farm and like become so strong. Mm -hmm. It's like Karthus and Kane are probably the most guilty of that. Yeah. Big wave stack. Ooh. Oh my god, this is messy wow. as fuck. Oh! Wow. Ooh, and Nivea is such a good wow, champion. Dude, oh my the god, the arrow. arrow. Oh, the arrow. And Nivea is so fucking useless, man! Oh, oh my god, this is so gross! Oh, oh. That was a really fucking crazy series where Arrow actually changed everything. Holy. No, dude, wa watch Anivia during. Anivia could not anything. have been more useless. Yeah, she didn't do anything. What the fuck, bro? Aatrox is actually hard as fuck to dive, dude. He, like, has a low cooldown E for mobility. He's got a shit ton of CC, can, like, chain you under the turret. God. Damn. I mean, Anivia could have played this any other way. She should just ER and get the crit on it. Like, he's going to flash this EQ, right? Okay, he flashed this EQ. Wait. Hello? Now you see her, like, her R is, like, mispositioned. She, like, doesn't expect him to flash. It's, it's so stupid. Yeah, and he of course he's going to flash the EQ. If he doesn't flash it, then you should stun off of it, not even cast your R there. Like, I mean, of course you're going to cast it, but you should confirm first. He, like, put his R where where Aatrox was about to get EQ'd. It's so going all in on, like, him making a mistake. Yeah. Stupid. So, so silly. Common sense. Positioning perfectly in the arrow from base there from death making all the difference and now it is gam again on the dragon But DRX are coming in from all oh Ooh, yikes pio sick early smite bro My god He also gets to reset Oh But wait Oh Wait, oh wow, wait, that was a nice Nivea his... flash. Oh, that was a really oh, far flash. Nah, they've got Heimerdinger. Oh! They just win. Yo, what the fuck? Heimerdinger. Oh. oh, where are his turrets? He's out of turrets. No turrets. Oh, he out of there. Holy sh... She has what egg. She She's like has almost egg. killing Nivea there. Nah, she has egg. You see the little wings? True. Silas took Callista ulti, but uh, it wasn't really useful in this fight because he couldn't ulti Piosic until the very end. Wow, Piosic actually wills for steal and they fight anyways. That's so troll. If if Piosic has ulti here and Zekka ult him, flash, ulti your jungler, it, but he doesn't have any CDs. Oh. Yeah. That was a bummer. Feels like they probably either should have just went for the steal and ran, or went for the fight and not the steal. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Nice juke. Oh. I was hoping Aatrox just turn around and kill them both there. So funny. 
I remember on 100 Thieves in like 2020 with like Cody and Stunt, we would play Heimer Senna and like they would legit just shit on like everybody's lane, but then they'd be like, yeah, we don't want to play this because it's not really like helping us. You know, like they felt it was too cheesy. Yeah. But like, I, I don't know, on, on the world stage, uh, cheesy seems pretty good. Ooh. Deft has a crit cloak. What do we think about that? He really do. Oh, he's getting the he? super turret shot. Oh, Levi legit comboed into the super turret. That was so brave. Stunning and brave. Holy shit, Kalista, zero points W with a range support, huh? That's super troll. How is that ever good? It's like so much damage to just, it's such a one point ability. Like, I hate when people do that on champs like Jin and and on Callista where they just don't put a single point. Stupid. It's 14% of their max health on a 10 second cooldown. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's actually so much. 14% max HP. Obviously, it's magic, but still, I mean, your support is guaranteed going to be auto attacking somebody at some point. And I mean, you, it's per target, right? Like, there's no cooldown hitting multiple targets. No, no, yeah, it's per target as it's. That's fucking. CD. It's so strong. Yep. It also works on your Q. So, like, if Syndra hits auto attack somebody, you can proc it with your Q. Wait, really? I think so. Yeah. Does it? Is it only Callista's Q, or does also like Cinder's Q will mark it? Oh, no, no, no. it's their autos. And Nivea's legit egged Insta, getting turned into fucking omelet. Wow, Nivea's a really good champion, I think. An omelet. Wait, dude, Piosic turns into egg, Nivea? What? Oh, um, that's that's Wait, so I've OP, that. by the way. Wait, he got never seen egged? That. Yeah, Piosic got fucking Piano egged. Can turn into an egg? <laughs> I'm checking that. Well, Viego is a what? counter to Anivia, then. Yo, like, what the fuck? That's so troll. The fuck? Bro, I don't think anyone's Isn't ever seen that. Is it the same with that. Zach? It, yeah, is, I'm curious. Is, that, is it the same with Zach? Is Probably. it the same with Sion? I, it's the same with Karthus, I know that much. Okay, I mean, if that's the case, then... That is a totally insane interaction, because he kills... If anyone kills Anivia, then Viego just gets two lives in that fight. Well, d does it only happen if an if Anivia has egg up, like if she dies with her egg? No, that doesn't matter. That's not how it works with shield bow. Yeah, it's not. If it your shield bow is on CD and Viego possesses you, then he gets shield bow no matter what. Yeah, but like, what if she died without her egg going off? Uh -huh. uh. Another Aatrox flank. So, I'm gonna watch this again. So he takes it, he dies, he turns into an egg. That's so broken. That's like one of the best passes in the whole game to take. What the fuck? He's laughing his ass off. I know, I, I don't even think he knew that that would happen. Nope. Like he definitely had no idea. Nobody's ever seen that before. I, I, I would not imagine a lot of people would know. Yeah, I mean, who the fuck plays Anivia? Like, it's actually such a fringe case for that to happen. Like, Anivia has to die so early in the fight that Viego can become Anivia, and then Viego has to die as Anivia. Like, <laughs> it's such an uncommon scenario. In that's true. Like, if you're super ARAM master, you would have seen it at some point. Oh, ARAM master. Oh. Actually, ARAM master. Oh. Oh. The fact that Gamma's on Soul Point is actually pretty fucked up for DRX, because you can't siege with Ash vs. Anivia, it's too dangerous. How do you close a game? If you're not going to close out the game or get a big advantage with Baron, you're fucked when Baron is off. <laughs> I think yeah. Gamma just legit throws their corpses at every dragon until they get a soul on a flip. 
I'm serious. Just like fucking sprinted down for it. Get soul, win the game. Only win con. Alright. So, DRX then, they should just push mid bot and keep gamming their base forever. Yeah. Like, you don't even yeah. fall back and dragon, you just sit there. Yeah, sure. Or, like, you would only fall back if oh. certain conditions are met. Like, you can burst oh. it before oh. the enemy team gets there. Oh. Oh. Oh, Flash Master. From, did the, the caster just said, from a scaling perspective, things are only going to get better for DRX. That doesn't seem quite right. I think Fiora and Nivea can definitely carry Syndra support. Oh, wait. I think Nivea is kind of just a trash champion. Yo, it she scales good. really well, man. She's super Does she, though? Yeah. I mean, her zoning is pretty cringe to play against. I mean, I mean it, it is, but, like... You're always this like squishy immobile mage whose stuff can be flash. Yeah. I think if you fast forward 10 minutes, Kalissa is going to be more useful in 5v5s than Ash. His enemy comes so good at making Ash do no damage. Oh no. What's really nice about DRX playing this is like they know that flipping the drag is not the best play So they're just constantly looking for fights before the enemy team can even approach drag Like it just conditions the enemy team to think okay, they're not gonna do it They're not gonna do it like now they've fallen for the bait twice and now they're gonna like flinch Yep I think, I think it's so good when teams like play in a way where like they cover the They cover the option where like you can punish a mistake and then then they go for the guarantee after the enemy team. Oh, like, look at the Heimer bomb. It's a little flower. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> what is this Heimer skin, actually? So oh, fucking goofy looking. Is it B? Oh, wow. I, why didn't, uh, why didn't fucking Zekka use Garvin ult there? Weird. I didn't even know there was a B Heimer skin. That's so cute. His name is Heimer Stinger? That's actually fucking <laughs> Heimer funny. Stinger? That's good. Did you guys ever see that shit? About Heimer's ulti E, like the bug that happened with it. Nope. So it it used to slow by ninety percent or some shit, like some super high percent, if you had ulti on it. And then, oh, first said, like it was bugged at some point to not do that, and it was only giving the regular slow percent, like just if you threw a regular E on the ulti E, and then they. They like, they couldn't fix it or something, so then they just made it, like, work like that. Like, they just turned that bug into how it works. It was really troll. Like, they never fixed it. Interesting. Maybe they gave us some other shit in reverse. No, like, it, it's not even, like, documented. So, top is fucked if Gam loses this, right? Yeah, they are. Pop, yeah. the top is, top top is now eliminated. Top DRX to, to lose every game for, that, for them to have a chance of tie-breaking. Now top is out of groups. Wow. Are we likely to get DRX and... Rogue tiebreaker? Uh, you can. What conditions need to be met? Actually, wait, can we? Wait, yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. I think, okay, it's just both Rogue and DRX both have to win. Like their next two games, which are both versus top. Rogue versus top, DRX versus top. Or both lose, yeah, that's true. They just have to do what the other one does. Bye, Gam. They did well, though. All things considered. They won a game against Top. Yoinked them and spoiled them out of groups. Yep. That is honestly pretty good achievement. Pretty noise. Pretty fucking noise, then, eh? Pretty fucking noise, then, yeah? <laughs> Glad to have him back. <laughs>
to really make their mark on this group. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, so didn't mean that. Wait, how sorry. has Top only played four games and Gamba's played six? I guess. Mm. Wait, Top just plays Rogue and DRX back to back. Mm. No. Yes. Weird. I just said that. Yes. Yeah, I never listened to you, yes. Yes, I did just say that. That is correct. Yes, you say all bullshit and what useful thing can expect me to listen. I think you could listen to me for once in your life and maybe you get some good results. No, oh, maybe I've tried it and I get bullshit every time. No, I don't think so. Do they give Malrong Jarvan? Seems they do. They don't give a fuck. The first pick, you're no way. The Maltrox. I guess they banned Jax to like try to raise the priority of Aatrox. I don't know. That it still seems like a fake counter to me. They're probably thinking if they don't ban Jax, then the other team will just take Caitlyn, and then even if they take Aatrox, they'll Jax into it. Draven. Is this not the easiest matchup in the world for Gate Lux? A non-escape AD that's outranged. What if Aitlin runs out of mana though? How does the matchup swing? Well, that would only happen for certain players. No mana. Bad mana management. No mana. Yeah. You have no mana, bitch. You have no mana. Get the fuck out of here! Holy shit, Draven Thresh versus Kate Lux. Okay. If a hook just randomly. Oh, Blitz, Blitz is crank. better. Blitz is better. I like that. I like that. This is a volatile lane. A little bit, yeah. That's way better than Thresh. Because if a hook lands, it's actually a kill. As opposed to Thresh, it's just cleanse or it might not be a kill. Very nice. Wait, Malrong's not on Jarvan. I think this is an L. That is not Bet all in top esports. <laughs> it's it's literally the two trap eighty carries. Lul. It's like the opposite of an unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. One drops trap. Unstoppable force versus a movable object. Oh, they don't know. This code be devastating. Oh. Oh. This could be totally Akko Taco. Yes, Wait, Lux started E? <laughs> what? That crab emoji is pretty funny. Why are you gonna start E in a situation like that, huh? Level oh, one, yes. if you have free time oh. on the wave, like say your opponent's leashing, is it oh. better to auto their ranged or melee minions? Wait, what? Oh! Oh! Wow, I, I can totally see why he wanted E now. <laughs> what, you wanna give Kate a kill? Draven already got a pop. This game is fucking over. Did they show how much gold he got for that? At least... 58. Mm. We'll see it. Let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. 60! Oh, I was close! Fuck! <laughs> Oh baby, Jackie Love needed to dodge that Q. <laughs> Blitz contributed basically nothing to the kill, except a hook on Lux and an ignite. That's 100% Blitz bad. Like he needs to just flash auto and commit to that all in. It shouldn't be Jackie Love like barely killing him and then barely dying. Mark's been playing pretty bad, honestly, for them. He makes too many mistakes. They didn't have vision on him, but they have the read. Top knowing that hey, we don't have flash on Jackie Love. It's a way that's being stacked towards us. Oh, oh, he netted the wrong way. It actually doesn't matter which way. What? He, he, there. he literally netted at them. It, it doesn't matter though. Yeah, but yikes. No, he's not gonna die. Oh, I like the fake. I like the fake. That was. Oh my god. He has to flash there. The mind game is usually uh, like so Aatrox favored. Everyone always flashes the Q3. I mean, there it wasn't. It was a Q2, but. Whew. 
That's what I mean. Like, Thresh can't do that shit. Thresh can't just, like, immediately flash hook. Yeah. Three boots and, like, get the kill. At any cost. I mean, it doesn't matter which way he He needs to preemptively net. I didn't even see that. Oh, my God. He literally netted into it. <laughs> that looks funny as fuck. Well, at least he reacted in time. It's it's a bad escape. It's a, it's a terrible reactionary escape, yeah. It, like, only works specifically when they're just running you straight down, and you'll slow them with it. And then it's like, okay, like, it's actually pretty good. You have to be a lot more intentional about preemptively netting than... I'm very good at preemptively uh, netting. Yeah. I knew you would be. But when you're playing these Albon's not even going to risk it. He'll walk straight down the lane. He starts up the Gromp and then he jumps. Yoink! Oh, wow. That was really nice, Hex. Flash. Oh, my goodness. Wow. What's up? And oh. Jackie Love played that amazing, too. Oh. He actually got everything. Fucking... Oh, my God. I think you just died Morong off the turret. Yeah. Oh, but the, the fucking Lee Sin Q goes wide. Now what happens? All right, let's get a game it, time Ian check. has been having such a fucking rough tournament. Game time check. Oh. That was such a nice fucking hex flash for that angle. Holy shit, so good. And then Jackie Love played this really well too, where he like... Managed to dodge almost everything. He threw the axe down, baited Lux to throw a Q at it, didn't even grab the axe. Bro, I would hate playing Kate Lux in the fucking Blitzcrank. This seems miserable. Yeah, it actually is a bit... It's quite hard, but... It's, it this all, is where you need Morgana. It all actually stemmed from the flash hook hitting Kate. Mm. Yeah. But it's, it's definitely hard. I'm, I'm really happy they didn't go Thresh. Look at Marong's items. He has literally one item. That's it. What the hell? Where does Smite item go? No consumables. I think he sold it. No components. <sighs> Just one big ass Warhammer. That was a nice gang. You know, I was gonna say it's it's so hard as a jungler when you have three losing lanes to be able to find those angles because you're often pushed in. There are these wards that start appearing in your jungle. Converting into a tower. It's just clean play. Top esports playing the map beautifully. And the oh, thank God we're seeing a Draven actually get fed, dude. These fasting Dravens have just <laughs> been legit miserable to watch. And two other than it, Jackie Love to be the one doing it. The honor. Draven snowballing out of control here. And Knight getting aggressive here onto Larson, who will uh, look to retreat back towards Malrang on the top side. There are rumors that he used to be a Draven. Oh, wow. Weird Aatrox flash follow. He knows he's getting dove. He can't let the wave crash. Oh, it's doomed. Uh, bye bye. Oh, third Q. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. No, no. Oh, he dies. He no died. Triumph. Where's Triumph? Oh, oh, it's because he has Comet. He has Comet and Resolve. Oh. I think Wayward played that pretty smart. I've been seeing people do that, and, like, Noguri did that a lot, too, where, like, when you can tell you're setting up for a dive on you, you just all in the other guy. Yeah. Because then it's awkward for the jungler. He's, like, sitting behind the turret waiting for the wave to crash, but he can't connect to the fight. That's good stuff indeed. Oh. 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 oh my god. Why is he getting... played that so well. Why is he getting 301 gold? You got that for that both is... kills. That's Who? Weird. I don't know. If I got 301 gold on Aatrox and... Is it Wait, is it because of Kate? Uh, Plus I think it actually might be. What the fuck? I thought it was like if they were against each other. That's wild. They're like competing for kills. 
Is that not just OP as fuck? You're just getting extra gold for free from lore reasons? <laughs> Are we TFT now? Pretty random. There was one about ninjas, right? Like ninjas gave each other like plus. I don't even remember what it was. Was it gold or move speed? I thought it was like you got debuffed if there was more than one ninja on a team. Yeah, maybe that was it. And there was another one where like if you had sunglasses, Leona did less damage to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. some of those have been taken out. Minus one HP if the ninjas more than one ninja. That sounds right. <laughs> I mean, anyone who, th who thinks one gold isn't a big deal is capping. Uh huh. Like at the highest level, one gold is. I it's, guess enough to swing the, the game. It can seriously be the difference for the whole game. Cap. Oh, they don't go for this, do they? No way. Somebody just posted uh, when Zara is near Maokai, she gains plus one move speed and vice versa. It really uh, it reminded me about Zyra support. Like, uh, last game, Heimerdinger versus Syndra. It's like this cheese pick versus cheese pick. It reminds me of Zyra support versus MF. Oh! Season 7 yeah. or 6. Well, Aatrox just fucking cancer died. With cancer. Oh. Yeah, that was literally the fucking weirdest meta. It's because MF's double tap was like one tapping the plants. True. Oh, oh come on, Jackie. Get him! Oh. Wow, he flashes in. Was that a well, big Jackie pop? cheesed him with flash. But that's more money on Dude, look at his fucking gold. Holy. Yeah, he's 4k at gates. That's rolling in cash. What Draven needs. Alright, so we've discovered Caitlyn is the biggest trap of the tournament. W. Not even Draven's weak enough to lose to it. <laughs> I guess Draven just wins games when it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> you gotta have the jump. balls just flash in level one. If Santa and Thresh are playing on opposing teams, a quest will trigger. This in-game quest consists of one killing the other to earn the opposing champ's stack of souls. What? Yeah. So Thresh kills Senna, he gets 40 AD, 50 range, and 30% crit chance. What? Oh, like yeah, and like if flat. he kills Lucian, if there's a Lucian on Senna's team and he kills him as well, he'll get double that. 60% <laughs> crit. Dude, I, like you could legit play Thresh AD carry with that buff. I don't think that works in competitive. Like I don't think that pops up. I mean, how often are you seeing Thresh versus Lucian Senna in competitive? I mean, not Lucian Senna, but like I'm sure Thresh Senna has happened. It still makes me mad that Lucian Senna is not a lane. <laughs> like Lucian's whole fucking identity is about Senna, and then like they don't even play together. It's a dysfunctional <laughs> marriage, man. They cannot lane together. Is she just having entanglements or what? Wait, so. If Senna and Lucian or Lucian kill Thresh, they get 30 AP and 30 AD. That seems way worse. AP yeah, it's, Thresh gets more, but like Thresh doesn't use the stats as well. I guess it's well. disabled and competitive. I'm curious if that's actually true. Do the quests get disabled? I, I'm pretty sure they are. Like, yeah, we, we've definitely played enough scrims to never see the quests in them. That's true. That's true. Senna versus Thresh isn't that uncommon. Well, also okay. like Rengar Kha'Zix, that thing. Yeah. I think that might have happened at some point. Jackie Love <laughs> has three fucking items. What's the, happening? It's another quest. It's like, is it Ash? Is it Anivia? I don't know. There's some like weird crown yeah, one. Ash, Sejuani, Lys Lysandra. Yeah. Can all get it. That surely has also been possible. I think I've seen that one in competitive because I, I don't know if it actually like does anything outside of just cosmetic like you get a crayon on your head i don't think so like i think you literally like the i swear to god the quest would have been talked about but i've never seen that
out on the map. It's all five rogue players here in the bottom side. But Wamne has the Narbar charged up. They might try to contest top here. But Wamne jumps in. Oh. Forces rogue is just fucking barreling in. Top esports doesn't feel like they're ready for this. Kali's still chilling mid. No, they're timing up Mega. It's good for top esports. Oh. Odo just flash W'd the air. Just killed oh, himself. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Wayward killed himself, yeah. Wolf. No, Dar killed Odo himself. Killed himself. Oh. Their bot lane killed themselves. Marong's gonna kill himself. Oh, my God. That's a lot of death. Almost all of Rogue just killed themselves there. Total gold. My God. Chart is stupid. He's yeah. four thousand ahead of his own teammate, who's oh doing the best God. other than him. What is Draven having base? Lord Dom? I think he has IE. Well, we can watch this one more time. I mean, it's it's desperate. Think he's gonna go Bork? Odo sees the Meganar's expiring, so he flashes. Well, Odo should have flashed. Oh, it doesn't have ulti. Huh. Oh. That just kind of encapsulates the fight. They do get this one kill here under the Aatrox. Oh, I just saw Aatrox. It's a very squishy build, but the problem is. Tien is in the back line. The kick comes through. <laughs> Damn, Kate Lux legit has not looked remotely decent one time. Exclusively hard feeding. I don't think this is going to be good for Rogue. All right, Wayward, can you get out of this one? Dashes over the wall there. Has a blast cone waiting. Arang still in hot pursuit here. Pot oh. champ. Oh. You hear the pot pasta earlier, Mr. Lift? I did, I did. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. It was funny. Oh. Wow, Knight. Oh. Now R2 did some damn. Yeah, he's he's a big boy. Oh. oh. Did it, was that a hook hit or just walk up dead till he's in? I don't know. Jackie Love flashed, so I'm guessing something happened with that. He flashes after Ruamne, and he's ready to try to continue the chase. Smoke screen goes down. I dude, I love that he just never uses his E. Like he just chases down with autos. It's so fucking hard to play against that. Yeah. Damn, the Blitzcrank Draven did it. Wait, that's not over yet, actually. If I'm breathing, at least. If Jackie loves breathing. Breathing. Ooh, so now. Ro has to win. Or no. DRX first top next. Yeah, so so if DRX wins, they get first. Their first seed. Irregardless. Irregardlessly. There's one more game today, yeah. It's unless E R X. Unless R X loses. That's true. That could happen. Imagine how tilting it will be for top esports if they don't make quarters because of Gam. Boy, do I have news for you. <laughs> <laughs> I have some unfortunate news. Man, it would be so tilting for them. Holy fuck, I can't even imagine if that happened. <laughs> Dude, Pepe I don't left. think they could ever mentally recover from that. If it happened. He actually doesn't know. He is unironically unaware. Pepe left. He doesn't know. He doesn't know Pepe left. <laughs> Take, I think whatever region Worlds is being held in should get a free pass to World Finals. Sure. That's not even a hot like, take. That's front, pretty, front row seats. That's pretty unanimous. Dude, wait, that means we're not getting Knight and Champions queue anymore. Oh, God. Despair. Why not? He's gonna go home, man. He's what if he says, I want to move to NA and only be play Champions queue? <gasps> Dude, this is way better than that Chinese super server trash. Do they moderate that at all? I know when I played in that shit, it was just a bunch of fucking psychos. What are, what are you being moderated? Like, what Champions Key does? Well, like, I mean, they, they, they prune players if they're not performing well. Prune? 
They'll like remove players. Yeah, they'll like send someone to your house and prune you. <laughs> Put you in a fucking bathtub for two hours. <laughs> Make sure you can never end another game. <laughs> the answer was yes or, <laughs> or what? What? I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm what you just mean saying shit. Like, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I haven't had any experiences with it. That's like I played with a psycho. Fucking. Like, there was literally just Z1 tricks across every game. Really? On that server, yeah. You don't remember that? I haven't, pl I haven't played in a couple weeks, so I don't know. No, I'm talking about fucking <laughs> the Chinese super server. <laughs> oh, I'm in Moron. I thought you were talking about Champski this whole time. No, I said, no, some I wonder if they moderate champ or the, the Chinese super server like they do Champions Q. As I said. Probably not even close, right? You need to just hit diamond one in any server and you can hit, pick the shittiest server. Yeah. So do how do the rankings work then? Is bronze in the super server still like D1 plus yeah. players? My chat says mid beast was gold too on that server. My chat says mid beast was stuck gold in super server. That's kind of oh. wild actually. Uh, to find stuck like he played two games. Yeah, yeah, he played two games and he was stuck. <laughs> no, like, I, I, from what I remember, it worked differently. Like, it's not the normal ranking system where, like, it'll put you in bronze. Like, I, yeah. I think everyone starts with, like, the super MMR. Like, even if you lost 10 games in a row, you get, like, minus zero LP. Like, it tries to inflate your elo. I see. Diego solo start Raptors. Surely he's not pathing to the Orn lane. It's a three camp bot gang. I would expect, but uh, you know the DRX are not gonna want Top to be able to run away from the. Wait, he's actually not going bot. It's a weird Viega route. Raptor Red, Wolves Gromp. MF Lulu is good versus Tsushinami. I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah, we don't think DRX is that good. <laughs> People expected it to be top esports and then rogue DRX fighting for that second T. The fact that DRX yeah, is in up. this position just goes to show how much growth they have made. The top esports is looking to get aggressive. Oh, wayward. Trade from King there. Taking the fucking tower shot. Owning though. I think this probably won't work. He's dive. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's oh, wow. crazy stuff. Oh, Can they dive? wow. There's one creep for them to dive on. Nope, impossible. He's edging that so hard. Oh wow, and he's even fucking over this guy's recall. Oh. The sapling didn't cancel it? Or, wait, what? Huh. That was so ballsy by Kangen. And like, none of his team reacted at all. Graves wasn't like, oh fuck, I need to go cover top. He's just like, good luck, dumbass. I think Kingen said he was fine. That's what's way more likely. They have mics. <laughs> Says good luck, motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit, Daft is doing the critically acclaimed bloodthirster rush. Oh, this is the MF play, man. You just strut your ass all the way to Harold. Is Top Esports gonna fight this? Oh, they just give it? And then Wayward, for funds, his own life. For no reason. Nice. That was a little bit reportable. <laughs> Why was he there? No flash on Maokai. He's actually dead. Actually dead. How did Maokai just die to a legion? It's just a mystery. Remained to be unsolved. Uh-oh. Kingen, you're going the wrong way, dude. 
That's their tower. I don't think he's out, no matter what. Is Maokai just the biggest trap? He's already feeding. I don't think Maokai is good for Zorn top, that's for sure. Zorn just does his job better. I think Maokai is good against other stuff, like... Where there's, his win con is different than theirs. Woo! I feel like it's still totally fine. Like, seems like a decent on either side matchup. I don't know why he's getting shit on like this. Mm. DRX comp front to back is so fucking strong. I don't think top is super comfortable if it's 5v5. We'll oh, it's a smite fight. Oh, Sneaky's least favorite thing ever. They need to move that fast. Get rid of smite fights. Anybody who played against Xmithy was hoping for his smite fights to be removed. <laughs> Actually, I just don't think this is good for the game. I mean... <laughs> I think it should be based on damage dealt. It's just so boring, really. Yeah, it's... Let's just go ahead and remove that. Thank not you. not cool. It's just a cheese mechanic. It really is. So boring. Are they really just yellowing the turret? Did they get it like this? Doesn't look like a very this looks good time. so fucking troll. Wait a sec. What the fuck? Oh my the fuck? god, he doesn't even kill. He doesn't oh get it? Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> wow. <sighs> that looked so troll from top. And then Kingan was like, ah, I feel bad. <laughs> It was Thunder healing with Nami healing. Yeah, I guess Summoner spell heal as well. Damn, that's a lot. Actually, I don't know. Look at the group right now. sitting on right here? He's on so much gold. Like, what's he gonna buy? Morello? Fat? Like, full Morello or some boots? I don't know. Oh, Tien could be caught here! The he ultimate! Full Morello and boots! Oh, yeah, oh damn! Piosic! Dang. He's not playing around. For how shitty the game has been going for on top lane, like, feels like DRX is just, they have so much control. Is your picked up a full Morello? I'm glad somebody pointed that out. Wait, I think Azir just picked up an entire Morello. He's kind of rich. But I'm not yeah, sure that was that, the Sinky? correct decision. I think the I think stacking uh, healing reduction on other items should uh, just increase the duration as well. So like the way that Morello's works with Leandri's, where it lasts like fucking ten seconds because the burn keeps reapplying it, it should kind of be that way by default on carries. Like if you auto attack someone three times, it should go up to ten seconds or something as a max. That'd be oh. a great buff. Oh, 10 seconds. Oh, Piosik is in that ass. Oh, okay. that was a sick Ornalty. That was Doesn't a nice flash by Piosik. anything somehow? Holy shit. I mean, you can't dive the Azir turret. Piosik was good. It doesn't actually accomplish anything in the end. I think DRX just should force drag three ults down on the enemy team, and every ult is up for them. Ex oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Two ults down for them. Every ult except two. Yeah. I don't know, is starting dragging the play here? I think so. Hmm. You don't take damage from it. The enemy team has to engage with what tools. No tools. Yeah. I mean, I guess they can just go for the steal. That was really psychotic by Lulu. Oh! And get it. Wow, that was really psychotic by Lulu. I don't even know what to say. Uh... What happens here? The only, the only reason why they lost that Nothing. fight is because Lulu is is frontlining and didn't flash anything. I don't even, I don't even think DRX should be sad that they got into a 50-50 smite off. Like maybe they should because, oh wow, that's such a shitty fucking Azir flash. It's like they they got into a 50-50 smite off but lost the fight in the dumbest way possible. Yeah, I mean, if the other team plays for the smite, you should at least, like, try to get a good fight off of it. Uh, I think I should replay the fight and check out what Azir and Lulu are doing. Because from what I saw, it was, like, pretty fucking cursed. Barrel walks up and W's the closest target, and, like, what, what does he even do here? I'm confused. Oh, he walks into the Maokai route? Yeah. So Azir didn't do anything really bad. He was just hitting the closest target and getting zoned, but... 
Was it right for Maokai to be on the side trying to like no, I think zone Silas? That seemed pretty weird. Yeah, I think that was weird too. He's not providing any pressure for his team and therefore Squishies. He should be the one that's walking into the Maokai route and giving some space. Yeah. Damn, if Top Esports wins this game and then they look back on the tournament and think if we could just win against Gam, we would have won the fuck or would have made it out of groups maybe. Uh, that's gotta feel like shit. They got legit cheesed by Karthus jungle. <laughs> uh, they should have banned it. It's no one's fault but Riot's for allowing this monstrosity to exist. Actually true. Oh? Wow, that that flash looked fucking bad, but it actually worked well. But he's still gonna get hit by it. These are some slow games today. Where is my bloodbath? Oh, he he can just go. Oh, such a nice play by night. Wow. I think Silas is pretty balanced. Actual that's... punish on the Azir for fun flash. No, dude, that's that's the biggest, like the most common thing that happens to me is I'm really focused on dodging a champ's abilities, but they have Everfrost and they start with it. Like I'm, I never react properly to it. Like in his mind, he's like, he stole my ulti. Like I have to think about him e ulting. I have to think about his chain, and he just walks up and Everfrost. It's like slips your mind because it's, it's always the last option. They're gonna get the Baron, and we can watch this one more time. As soon as the Azir ulti is stolen, honestly, you yeah. gotta back up. But he goes forward, oh, hits God. the Everfrost, sets himself so up fucked up. The That's so much damage. Wave, it was nice it. play by night. Ulti. Beautiful stuff there from Knight, and sets it up perfectly for Jackie Love to kill him. What's crazy about this is Top Esports, all this early game, have kind of been... Do, 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 double kill. They've been trying to attack the side. The game's still, I think, good for DRX after Baron, at least. With that Baron, they are now set up for total control over the Rift with 15 seconds to go. I don't know. I think if they just play around Azir, it's not hard for them to front to back. That Lucian's so strong, though. He's got yeah, three items strong. with the Typhoon. Uh, Azir's so not going to be here in time. Now, could just use an ulti, man. Ulti. Okay, here it comes. Oh, but no follow-up on that. They just let themselves get counter-engaged. Oh, Pyosik, what? That was, man, pretty interesting. Uh, what? Oh, wow, they just have nah. so much damage to kill him. Maybe what can this fucking it's, it's, it's a top win. It's actually a top win. And a tie break. I feel like I saw Zeka, like I pointed out that he got Morello's like fucking so long ago and, and he hasn't changed his items at all since. He went from yeah, I mean, like he, he bought it with tier 1 up. boots, so he's gotten like tier 2 boots and the lighted jewel, but yeah, don't feel like big spikes. He was like super above pace in the game and now he's just not. Yep. Does MF go IE fourth? Yeah, absolutely. I think at four items, a, a pretty common. I mean, Jackalo's not doing it, but a, a pretty common rule of thumb is like you don't delay IE past your fourth item. Like you don't go IE absolutely dead last. Unless you're Jackalo. It's just a huge multiplier at, at at even three items when you have 60 crit, but it. At 80 crit, it's like so much damage that's being lost. True. I mean, what IE roughly translates Whoa. to is what? at 100% at crit, it, it it really just says your auto attacks are doing, well, it's not th exactly 35% more damage because it goes from 175 to 210, but... There's like an extra multiplier on your autos. Mm -hmm. It makes you hit hard. It's a good point. It does make you hit hard. Well, the last fight of the game is about to happen. I guess because Azir cannot really hit anything because he has very little setup. Like the only CC on his team is actually just Maokai. 
he, he never actually gets to front to back because like he's always he always has to play for himself and make sure that he's not dying or being threatened nothing is being locked down in front of him he just he can't hit anything basically i don't i don't think he can ever really hit holy shit and this this maokai is just not tanky at all nope what the hell is he then? Yeah, I mean, they did use... They used three ultis there. I guess Stylus is in a long cooldown. Oh god, I don't think DRX can make it in time. I think they're just gonna get the soul like this. Oh, PO Stick has to flash over the wall to Whoa. steal it. Oh, oh he's not even gonna try. He didn't do it. He should have tried at least. Now it's he just doesn't give a over. fuck. Wait, Silas MF? No damage, but it doesn't matter. Damn, dude. Yes, it should be really happy there. Like they, they can just play slow now. Well, on the bright side, I feel like Rogue's chances of beating DRX are good if they're playing like this. Rogue has played really shit today, though. Mm. Eh, if they don't pick Nasa support, I think they'll be fine. What Rumble Top? I think if they don't pick Rumble Top, they'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Council will be talking about this. I feel like Rogue's just not. Uh, from what I've seen today, they have, they're not like adapting well with the world's meta, like changing every single day a little bit. Like playing Caitlyn. Not sure about that. Uh, Jackalove did it again. He went surreal. Does I don't know. I feel like at that point you might as well just curve into eight, like having a hundred grit on six items. Lord Dummies is not bad. Third of Death's health gone from a Silas Q. Dude, Silas is ridiculous. It feels like he he is like just everything. He can just do consistent damage. He is a dive. Like he can engage. He can do everything. When did he become Thanos again? Because like there was a period a while ago, like near at least when he was that good. And then he kind of like went, was nerfed, didn't get played for a while. Oh now he's kind of come back. Just engages like that. Oh! Wait, his build is even more trolled because they have Hextech Soul. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like he's stacking so many slows. He's not really getting much out of the real this. Oh well, doesn't matter. I mean, Hextech Soul is just that OP then. God, what a fucked up situation for top esports. These games don't matter, and they actually are playing well, finally. Do it, Knight. Press the R. Oh, my God. Oh, such a sad combo. Not wow, player, dude. Wayward played that amazing. What the fuck? Yeah, I oh. think top just wins this. Well, Holy shit, they're literally eliminated from groups by fucking Gam. 10 HP Nexus. <laughs> Imagine going 2-1 and one and losing to fucking Gam. Dude, it would have been so hype. This next game... Yeah, if it was a three-way tie, it would have been crazy. Oh, that sucks for them. Top eSports man. Alright, I got to AFK for a little bit, but I'll be back. Oh, okay. Classic, classic. So much pressure on DRX to try to take these fights that they weren't really ready to take. Absolutely incredible performance here in these last two games from Tom Esports. Yeah, there's actually one more game. Now there's a tiebreaker between... Um, DRX and Rogue for first seed. Did any of you guys ever cried after a loss? Mm, not that I can remember. Yeah, Damn. can't remember either. I've been pissed off after losses, but I never like wanted to cry. Yeah, sorry, only anime can make me cry. And needles. <laughs> no, that's faint. Fall over. Oh. <laughs> and lose consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it is it the needle that makes you faint, or the blood? Uh, I don't know. I fucking okay, like, <laughs> like twenty. 
20 sometime. I fucking stubbed my toe and it was bleeding and I fainted off that. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Like, how bad did you stub your toe? It was pretty hard. It was bleeding. <laughs> and, like, the side of the blood made you... No, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't think it's blood. Like, maybe it's my blood that counts, maybe. Or maybe it's shock of something. But, like, I'm not shocked when I get, uh, you know, like a vaccine or something. Huh. Like, blood drawn. If I don't lay down, I'm fucked. I mean, any needle. What if it's blood from, like, your monthly cycle? Is it the same? Hmm. It's definitely not, like, anyone else's blood. Okay. What about yours? From my monthly cycle? Maybe. Yeah. This well, Yorix took Caitlyn, so... I <laughs> suppose we win. We'll finally see who's right. Four or RJS? About what? They're arguing about... Who wins level one? Caitlyn? Kate, Lux, oh, or this Ezreal thing? Karma. It's from a while ago, right? I think it just depends. It's pretty debatable, honestly. Yeah, if Ezreal Karma misses literally every skill shot, then <laughs> they lose. I don't like Rogue's comp very much. Their comps lately have been so far removed from what they were winning with earlier. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the tank top bands. Oh, do Omni can hard carry as a tank? I actually don't mind when a team is able to play multiple styles of comps, though. So, I feel like they're just getting put to the test. Yeah, I mean, it's not even so much the change for me. It's just, like, these specific champions that I don't really, I don't really fuck with Ezreal Karma. I do not have a lot of faith in this rogue comp. DRX comp's not it's amazing like... either, though, so... We'll it's see. Like five slippery champs against Camilvi, which just completely <laughs> point and click engage. They get to choose the fight. The the biggest question I think is like when Camille and Vi do choose the fight, if they can one shot that person without getting one shot themselves. Yeah, I mean they're they're like not necessarily high damage and like all their damage is avoidable. Yeah. They, they have good mobility, they can kite, but... Not sure how well this one's gonna go. Based on, I feel like Kate doesn't have to do anything in this game except for just... I, I mean, I think chill. the fact that they pick Ezreal Karma indicates, like, literally what Kate would prefer to play into. Mm -hmm. The Kate's not a bait in this scenario, okay. I mean, I don't think it's good. I think Ezreal's probably worse, though. Uh... I feel like Ezreal well, Karma this area, yeah. should should be good in lane. Like they should win this matchup. But and that that would neutralize Caitlyn's really? advantage that she's really lane focused. This seems very skill matchup, not matchup based. Like I don't think Kate mm. or Ez wins. I think either side can win here. Like because of the supports, Lux and Karma, like both being skill yeah, shot high yeah, damage. It's, it's skill shot based. But like a lot of matchups are skill shot based. Not in the oh, wow. same format. I would have think DRX just has the ability to keep them pushed in the whole game. That was a missed opportunity by Deft and Burial. They should both auto one more time there. Hey, like, uh, okay, I'll say Karma can pretty much solo carry any lane, depending on skill. Yeah. Yeah. Even while getting pushed in? Well, she pushes. Like, she is the one creating the push. It doesn't even matter what her AD is. Like, if she dodges and she lands, the enemy can't do anything. Mm. And then Ez gets his poke off because of Karma. What? How did they get in this situation, then? As I said, skill matchup. I'm not yeah. saying, like, Trimby's mm. bad, but, like, it just happens so they're losing. The enemy's landing shit, they're not. Uh, like, Lux and Kate do have a lot of good push, but... Like, Karma's is way more guaranteed than Lux or Kate. She can RQ and fucking hit the whole wave in the enemy. I mean, maybe not the whole wave, but... Poke the enemy, Wait, push Marlon the wave. Is... Well, oh, uh, wow. Pink Ward jump over the bush. Oh, King instead. Oh, 
this one unless you pull off something wild. No, oh, dude, he got fucking Goomba stomped by Odo. Okay. I feel like the, the game's not really going to be based on bot lane. No. The comps, the comps are just so different. The thing that matters is like what separates both comps. For Rogue, it's like they're special because like they're five super, super slippery champs. And then for DRX, like it's Vi and Camille, the counter to slippery champs. So, don't know if... It really even matters which ball in its head because they're not even going to be the ones making anything happen. Yeah, it, it won't really matter unless there's a significant difference. I guess like Kate Lux can follow up on Engage really easily because they have the guaranteed damage. They can literally just throw his ulti on the same guy via his ulting. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, this is really good follow up too. Chuck his ult, it's like the same thing. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. But they don't have the CC to make it guaranteed. Yeah. If you were DRX, would you try to pull this wave or would you just keep shoving it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh. For them, they don't need to be scared of getting ganked, so I think just keep pushing and keep putting down wards uh, on every round. Mm. I think for Rogue, they need to find some way to get out of this fucked up situation. Oh wow, if, if that, that hits comp, he's almost dead, yeah. He probably does die to Ignite, actually. The Kate Luck. Junkie The Chupacabra. That does look like a one-shot. This is just so painful, man. They actually can't do anything to be like, too. I'm playing Once fucking the pushing hammer. machine happens. No Wait, hammer is real, is it? Or machine? No, it's fine. I think it's fine. So just rush man immune straight and not have any detours. Detours? You're really, you're really strong when you just immediately finish man immune. I like that. This I think like another game. I, I mean, I agree, but. Sheen is like, way stronger. I don't know. I, I don't like last heading with Sheen. It makes it really uncomfortable for me. How? Mm, just like using the Sheen proc to CS stuff. I don't like it. It's like bursts of damage. You could do some clever stuff with it. Like I mean, Yeah, but you get longsword with the Sheen. You're not buying nothing. Yeah, yeah, I just think the 1580 is like, feels good sometimes. Wow, he actually ended feels up going good, man. to Sheen anyways, like... So at that point, yeah, you're right. Like, I think like the payoff is like, you're slightly, you're slightly weaker with the Warhammer, no Sheen. But then like, at Man Immune, you've like, cheated 700 gold. But now it's like, he should've just bought the Sheen earlier then. Yeah, I mean, this, like... Not playing Sheen on Ezreal is literally trolling, like... I don't think it's why they're losing, but it's just weird as fuck to see. Just, it's the v sh fucking Sheen champ. Like, there's no better champ in the game to have this item. It's just yeah. so insanely effective. Game plank. <clears throat> nope, Ezreal's still better. Sixteen. Jack. I mean, that's a bit. Camille. 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 Nope. I think sometimes you can feel hard. Camille, to hundred percent. Camille, <laughs> Ezreal's still better. <laughs> no way, dude. Camille's yeah. so giga. I mean, it's really good on her. She turns it into true damage. I mean, you're not wrong. It's extremely good. I'd probably put her second. You're capping, what man. The hell? He got his E canceled there. I don't think so. Oh, nice flash. Oh, did he go kick flash? Oh, is he oh going my it? goodness. Oh. He was trying to give the kill, but it looked sus, uh, so he had to take it. Yeah. That's so fucked up for bot lane, though. Trying to get Defty ahead and successfully getting him ahead. <laughs> I think Deft always does the for funnels, which I'm not a huge fan of. 
Like he ults a lot for just absolutely no reason other than to just pad damage dealt stat. Do you prefer to save it? I mean, there are times where you ult for fun and then 30 seconds later a team fight happens where your ult would have changed something. Yeah, I think ulting someone with sustain is grief. But some, ulting something that actually get chunked by it and it's meaningful is totally fun. Like before a fight. It's just as meaningful as like doing the last hit. Uh huh. If they don't have sustain, of course. All right. What about Fiora with Sheen? <laughs> so broken. Fiora Sheen? Well, no, I mean, yeah. I, I think Ezreal's value with it is just way higher because he doesn't have to, like, be in your face for it. Just poke. What the fuck? King and is actually. Huh? That was a human what? play for sure. <laughs> Wait, no, but oh crazy my engage, god. Wow, yeah, what a bait so by King and damn. He's so smart. How did he know that would happen? Whoa. Oh shit, wait. Whoa, is he hit? dead? Is he dead? Oh. No. No, Kato would have died. King and is actually just sprinting it. He is weak as fuck. Big damage. <laughs> and now Caitlyn is in a fucked position. She had item advantage, but she got pwned. Turn now. Yeah, I, HP advantage means they can just keep gapping them. The problem though is just jungler intervention. Like between the two, Vi is so much better at helping bot lane than Lee Sin. Oh my wave clear. Dude, look at this. Like Trimby just dead. Uh, and actually, Vi can just keep going. Oh. No, no, no. Vi can keep going. Mid gap, mid gap. Huh. Oh, all wrong. He's fine. What ability did he take from LeBlanc? Why doesn't it tell us? What I'm shit guessing you W. Are. Yeah. Oh! Oh my wow. god, he doesn't kill. Wow. Damn. That was kind of cool. That was. Use the LeBlanc W, went for the kill, jump back. Surprised that damage alone didn't kill him. Oh, he's Q-Max, that's why. Actually, the difference. Oh. Oh, Q-Master. Q-Master. No, but for real, though, like, the Q totally didn't hit. Yeah, yeah. Legit, the difference. But, I mean, he is versus the Bonk, so. Oh. Yeah, I mean, that, this is what people have been doing until, like, range matchups. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. First strike LeBlanc, actually. I don't think we've seen that. Oh. Makes sense, though. Oh, my. Wow. God. Outplayed, bro. Ease to a range minion and ever frost some. Malrang's build? I don't know, dude. He does just fucking every game. He's just different. Don't even look at it. It's a distraction. He's so overkilled. Uh, yeah, what's up, Lena? I was Did he not have time to either? Easy target. I don't think he had it. Uh, oh, really? Probably eat some minions. Do some bonus damage. Ah, that... Understandable. Dude, it's actually such a trap on Ezreal. Like, you feel like you're way safer because of your E, and then you'll overextend yourself, and then just fucking die, because Ezreal's super killable. Yeah, I mean, the... The way I've always felt about Ezreal is, like... He can dodge things easily with his E, but he's not actually fast. Like, you can just run him down. Yeah. He'll E away, but he's slow as fuck. You just catch up to him again. Yeah, so shit like super hard engage just fucks him. Also, like, if they don't build Trinity Force or anything, like, you're so squishy. Yeah. You're like a, a support, basically. You just absolutely nothing defensive. Yeah, he has no sustain either. There's a lot of problems with him, but I think he... He has a, a lot of success against melee stack like this. It's just that I don't think he's going to have problems surviving in team fights. I think it's his teammates. They get locked down and die. He has a pretty favorable, no one is safe. He has a pretty favorable interaction with uh, Violt where he can like buffer his E. 
and not get locked down by it as much. Oh, nice play by Kingen, actually. Odo can maybe outplay this. I don't know. Oh, never mind. I don't think he has the damage. Damn, that was so close, though. Holy shit. I don't know. He still needed, like, another two autos and rock or something. Because Camille keeps healing off Grasp and uh, Sunder. The fact that Sunder heals is kind of fucking whack, honestly. It's so strong. Look at Lee Sin's build, man. This is funny. Hmm. Looks familiar. Oh. This is the absolute purely zero damage Kate build. Like, you, you do it for mid prio and nothing else. I think Storm Ranger second Kate is the sauce. What the That's a lot of roots. This guy's what actually the dead. Fuck damage? Oh. That Andrew's burned kind of lit. Nah, lit. Nice. Well, not that way. I was just saying it. Did a lot of damage, so it seemed good. Therefore, I used the word lit. That's silly. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do that. Dude, playing against Malrong in these games where, like, his early plays don't work, it feels so good being the enemy jungler. Like, you can just do whatever the fuck you want because you know their jungler is, like, fucking starving. <laughs> just can't threaten you at all. Even if you full-on face check his ass, use all your spells on his camp, just no punish. Yeah. Oh, it is oh. pretty true. Dude, Odo surely could play the game there. Aha, so fun, guys. Ilus really seems like just maybe the most OP champ in the world so far. Outside of like Yumi. You think he's better than Maokai? Could be. I think if he's against Maokai, probably, yeah. No punish. Outnumbered and legit kills him. Yeah, man, Vi is good in these types of games. She struggles when the enemy team is better than you front to back. Just like Nautilus, these champs are like immediately blown up in front to back fights against those kind of comps, but are like the best at just making a good fight happen. Yeah, I don't see any hope for Rogue. Also hit his big two item spike. Caitlin though pushing towards IE, which is very, very scary. And we'll see if DRX can find a pick here. Little on the front, soaking up the bullets. Death firing him off. Whoa. Oh, big damage. Big, big damage. flexing his penis. Imagine that with a storm razor. God damn. Chop his head off. Oh, uh oh, big flank. He's going mega. Uh oh, Malrong. Oh. No, dude, Malrong is inting. <laughs> Super flank. Dude, I actually like the Lux with Vi. Just like a long ass CC to follow it up. Yeah. This looks like it would be a good mid jungle combo. But obviously, then you're playing Lux mid. Yeah, then you have a Lux mid. And, uh, oh, fuck. It's unlucky. over. Well, Holy shit, it's over. Some would call that BG. Boom. Wait. I just Silas realized. has some of the, the best fucking shit when it's an RLT, like the best clips. Yeah, only one drag's been killed? Yeah. At that's 23 minutes? Too. 17 minute first drag, and they don't even care when it respawns. Holy BG shit. Jed. Yeah, that's a little odd. 
a gold lead is the difference between TRX and Rogue. That's yes. why they're winning. Bam! Oh my god. Rinby legit one tap. No one else even got an assist. It's a solo kill. And they just pile in kill after kill after kill here. They already They play champs that no one else is playing. Rakan, Soraka, Lux, Nasa support. Like they actually have a very, very unique take on support. Oh, oh nice wait, pick. that's good. Holy. Hey, you're right about the Storm Razor. That's what, what, that's what Deftrid is going. Oh, Fuck. God. Th what? Ew. <laughs> Third? <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> Dude, PO6 ulting Malrung every fight. It's He's just personal. like, Fuck you. It's, oh, my God. Dekka is just making montages. That's cool looking engaged by Kingen. Wait. That was close. To a penta. So close. To a penta. Damn. Well. Goodbye, West. Twas well, fun. They're still in it, actually. They just lost two games today. Dude. Or three. Three games, actually. Three. One and four. Oh, uh, four losses. Oh, oh one four. and three. One and three. Sorry. Well. Sad week to be European and American. Ah, we no, 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 no. Week. You can't count us out. We only have a hundred thieves left, and they could. Yeah, hundred thieves off. could legit four zero. Okay. All in eight teams have gotten at least a win. GG's boys. My dog looks like she's about to shit on my floor, so I probably gotta go take her out. I'm gonna go shit on your floor while you're out. Peace. Oh God. Lose, lose. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow, boys. Bye-bye.